addition to my story, that's fine, but you don't got to be a butthole about it. Okay, what? Zito, Zito, it's not that we hate your story. We just want you to fucking wear clothes while you're telling it. And please put on some shoes. You got it. Listen, I can't. That's the purpose of the bit. If you're going to no, method it's, act, it's, you got to method all, act. Only also, socks I don't face cam, so how the fuck do you know? All, all, only socks is making it more noticeable you're not wearing What about clothes. the sandals, though? It completes it. <laughs> Listen, why is, Zito, the, I will why go is the split cross. after your pinky? Like, I don't get why it's after your <laughs> pinky toe. Oh my goodness! Well, this is this is already. Thank gone God off we're not God. live. Uh oh. No, no. Here's yeah. the thing: we just need to restart the entire stream because that was a terrible cold <laughs> open. One, two, terrible three. cold open. I was no. gonna talk. I was gonna ask Monty about the gun, but you know that's. I guess that's out the window. It's now. fine. Don't worry about hey, it. Hey, guys in Goomba, where can they find you? No, I it's too early. early. No, no, you have two minutes. Go. Fuck. Twitch.tv slash guys in Goomba. I just put out. A half hour long video on which ninja goes to Tsushima. Please go watch it. I spent two weeks on it. It's doing pretty good. I talk about a lot of cool shit, a lot of good ninja shit. Please go watch that. Um, Tuesday's Taiko Tuesday. Play Taiko no Tetsu. What? What, Monty? I just thought, like, I was like, would be a funny thing to say. And I'm like, I was just like, there's not even a sushi in here. God, go, go to bed. Go to bed. <laughs> when Plus I get a new TV, Monty, it's going to be a ghost of Tsushima. There you go. Saturday Yay. and Sunday, it's just... I, it, it may be Fall Guys, it may be more Neo 2. I don't fucking know yet. We're apparently being rushed. So, Tuesday, Saturday, Sunday, 5 p.m. It's fine, it's fine. We just need to go live immediately. We, we couldn't... I, 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 I say two minutes because if I say five minutes, it'll just be the same. Ha, ah. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I know, right? <laughs> Roasting me right out the gate, aren't die you? Jo die, Jobu. Die, Jobu, right back at you, man. Oh, I'm gonna fucking kill you in your sleep. Do you see the fuck? Egg? <laughs> oh, it'd be really easy to find him because he makes so much noise. Oh! Sorry, Austin. How? Sorry, Austin. I clipped the audio real hard. <laughs> Austin, Austin just explodes. <laughs> you just hear up! Ah, hooray! Yeah, I'll, have you know the, the, I'll have, I'll have you know like... the other day. The dogs were playing in Dad's TV room, and I'm like, "The Dean's streaming right now. We should get the dogs out of here because they're playing." <laughs> and I did that. I could not. But I, I get it. Oh, I hear everything that goes on upstairs. If Dad's watching a movie. I know that movie. I know the plot line. I know hey, the actors. I can't wait for Dad to just go on a twenty-four hour marathon of just watching uh, Dunkirk with the uh, with the bass turned up to max. You know, oh. like if it's during the day and I'm not doing anything that requires like significant quietness to it, like this, I'm like, all right, it's fine. But it's um, like, what? It, it's it's it's. It really do be tough out there. Anyway, um, continue. Um, Gumbo, are you done? Uh, no, he's not. Let him speak. Okay, continue. Finish. Oh, God, I don't know. Uh, I'm working on the Avatar Zuko Part 2 episode, though I don't know how that's going to go because the head director people walked out of the live-action remake, so fuck us, I guess. But yeah, no, it's going to be... Oh, God. Okay, uh, it's going to be good. Zuko video's coming up. Watch the Ghost of Tsushima video. I spent two weeks on it. It's a half hour long. It's really fucking good. It's one of my best. Good. I, I I'm really happy to hear that video is doing good because this game is like tailor made for your interests. I, like, oh, I love it. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> if you want to hear someone passionately talk about a really good game? Go head over to Twitch.tv. Head over to Kaijin Goomba. Hey, Monty, where can they find you? I killed someone yesterday. Good. It's true. I heard their bloody scream from upstairs. I uh oh, you did hear them? Yeah, we fucking. No, I heard all you guys there. all fucking day. <laughs> oh, sorry. Well, what? yesterday. I apologize. You're playing D and D. Yes, fine. Yesterday was my friend uh, Nunich or Darian. His birthday was yesterday, and he he put a gun to me and said, "I want to play D and D." He didn't actually do that. He's very nice. But we played nine hours of D and D. I killed Draco's character. Oh, I didn't kill it. Uh, she just died, like more or less. Mm, um, that's okay. The blood's on your hands, though. Now, Draco, yeah. don't you eat this pie? <laughs> but now, now she has the taste of blood in her mouth. She really does. So I, I accidentally killed the character yesterday. But um, if you want to catch me not murdering people, don't catch this stream. <laughs> um, you can catch me at Monty Glue on Twitter and at uh, Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. After this weekend, streams are coming back. Um, it's going to be some buffoonery. There's going to be some things going on. So my hope is to keep playing uh, Devil May Cry on Thursdays. Yeah. Um, and then Sundays is either going to be Final Fantasy IX or the Darcy Hour. My friend Darcy moved back into town, and, and she's a badass goth bitch. And so Ooh. we intend to play some horror games together because I have the bravery of a chicken McNugget, and she's able mm. to keep me grounded so we might end up getting together on a Sunday and playing Darkwood and other spoopy games. Um, oh, so if God, you're interested Darkwood. in that, catch, oh, ca light. 
golden light yeah golden we'll do golden light. light too we have a, we have a few games we want to play <laughs> um so yeah you can catch me there uh, on top of that uh intermittently late at night potentially throughout the week I, i'm gonna be doing a lot of pokemon streams and art streams I am doing a lot of commissions, so definitely keep your eyes peeled on both my Discord and my Twitter for commission slots. I intend to do a lot of drawing uh, in the coming months. So, yeah, that's it. Sorry for talking so much. Also, rest in peace, Craig. You will, you will be missed. Craig! We, hey. we, we mourn their death by playing Sad Naruto song and then the Coffin Dance song. So That's good. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was funny. I would like to hear the coffin dance with Naruto instruments. I think that would be a really good thing to listen. What constitutes a Naruto? Dude, <laughs> dude, dude, someone did it with the fucking medieval loot band. So it's there. Oh, I did see it. Yeah, I, I did see it, and I'm not going to lie. It's really good on that loot band. It really sounds great on that loot yeah. band. Hey, yeah, speaking, so of, speak, speaking of a loot band, Zeno has nothing to do with that. Hi, where can they find you? What a segue. You can find me over at twitch.tv slash Zeno. Uh, CZ Backlash on Twitter and the Ever Ingen Almanac on Patreon. The Ever the Almanac is getting updates. I swear to God, it's getting updates. I am getting artists for the Hanu right now, so playable Sun Wukongs will be a thing very shortly. Hopefully by the end of the month. Monkey, tell me about yes. your tanky Zito. Can they no, can they use I, their tail? I, I, can can I, they use I their wanted... tail for shenanigans? Yes, they also wall jump. Mm. Uh. Tell us about our Sankeys. Well, I apparently am now trending. Oh, apparent fuckingly, I'm trending now. The word Sankey has become sequestered into fucking Sonic OCs because it's 2020 and we really have no time to be embarrassed or give a shit. And also, it was a fun creative exercise that may turn into me streaming commission work. So, Perfect. you know, that I might be actually be able to make money drawing fucking cartoon animals. And that's kind of what Chris, before he went into college, wanted to do. As like a little side project, so I'm living the dream. All right. So the big question is, can I commission you for for an OC Sankey? Oh fuck, guys! And listen, I didn't even open them up yet, and people are. You, all right, listen, just talk. Just fucking send me a DM, man. Cool. <laughs> fucking send me a DM, and also you'll catch me on my stream playing Fall Guys, Fate Tactics, uh, Jape Cart, because more Sodic. Why not? There's people making mods for it. It's mods the game, and I, I fucking am all about that shit. One of these nights, uh, a Sage 2020 dumpster dive will begin. All righty. Hey, uh, there, Distortion Dabaloo. Where can they find hey, you, bud? That's me. They can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I'm streaming Tuesdays, Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays. Uh, Tuesday, RW is on a little bit of a hiatus until I figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, until that happens... I'm going to use that as another day to uh, stream Yakuza Zero. It's going to be that and Saturdays before the Prince Division. Uh, I'm going to be streaming Yakuza Zero, having a blast with it. It's a really fun game. Um, Friday is Friday Funhouse, where I just play a lot of fun games with my friends. We're usually uh, going to be Fall Guys probably for a little bit here, because <laughs> it's just a it's just a fun game. We, we all got to fucking game. play. It's, it's Fall really Guys fun, right? yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, and mm. Sunday, I'm playing games with uh, the Harbingers, the people behind Dead House Sonata. And speaking of Dead House Sonata, you've heard me shill it over and over and over again on this stream. And I will continue to do this. Uh, if you are at all a fan of the Legacy of Kane series, then you will like Dead House Sonata. It is a spiritual successor to the Legacy of Kane. It is a narratively driven action RPG where you play as the undead to fight the living. You can play as vampires, ghouls, revenants, liches, whites, banshees, wraiths, and more. Uh, and it will be releasing into beta, I believe, early next year. But if you want to get some early access, then please go ahead, follow that link right there. Can I play as a John Ski? I don't know. Can I be a white? <laughs> yes. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm, I'm, I'm always gonna love that that it's like no matter how you say it you gotta say it <laughs> i know i love there, it there, there's something worse but i choose not to say it <laughs> man oh by the way uh you can thank citric king uh for dropping this uh citric king uh found uh traditional japanese coffin dance thank you citric god damn king, it for... king. <laughs> i fucking i actually know human like i've used his music in a bunch of my videos 
Oh, but you know who else we we who's used in a lot of videos and will be. Well, you know what? I'm going to let him talk about the big week he's had. I'm going to hand it over here to the one, the only, Edward Bosco. Bosco! What, what up, what guys? Happened? What happened this week? Yeah, nothing big? Not, nothing not a whole heck of a lot, man. You know, just, whole... trying to, just trying to take care of the whole Global Badger thing. But you guys can check me out over on at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter. And then right here on Twitch.tv slash Edward Bosco. I do the WrestleMans and stuff. But yeah, that's me. Oh, no. No, something else happened this week. Did it? Yeah, I did. There's this... uh. There's this little known uh, th- a sh- a show called Has Been Hotel. That, oh, uh, fuck had that be- show. No, 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 no. You're not the spider. There's no sex involved. Uh, <laughs> I love the sex spider. <laughs> Let the spider say fuck. <laughs> the- <laughs> Bosco, break, make the big announcement. It's a big week for this. Is there? Come on. Yeah, what are you dude. about? It has been hotel got picked up by a twenty four pick. Oh right, it did. Mm. Yeah, that happened. You know, TV. <laughs> you know, network. You know, <laughs> you know, just a, just a, just an original prelay cartoon on television. Eh. The yeah. thing that everyone asks for, but they keep giving us rehashes of other shit. Cartoon. Mm-hmm. Listen, Bosco, I want you to know that there is now an above 50% chance I am going to be able to walk into a hot topic and buy you and wear you. So I just want you to know. <laughs> I, don't, I, don't, I, don't I, do know how, I don't know how I feel about that, though. I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't, I, mean, I don't know if that's necessarily a thing I wanted checked off your bucket list. I just, I mean, you know, it's, you just got to roll with the punches, and sometimes I'm going to be rolling up the socks featuring your face. <laughs> It, look, look, Bosco. When I realized that you were in goddamn yokai watch, just you just get used to it. And... Yeah, that's, that's why yes, I didn't want to say anything. So your voice. <laughs> like it's big I, news, but I already I tweeted it. about it. You I guys should it. you should find me on Twitter. I tweeted about it. If you I, care, I don't want to bore it. you. I hate it when I'm playing a video game and then I hear Edward Bosco and I'm like, I can't escape you. <laughs> so what's gonna What's gonna happen when you finally find that big bad in that one game where you're like, that's a cool. Oh no, it's him. I was so scared. I was like, there was I, I, if I, I could have politic my way to Mister X or Nemesis, you know I would. I would have been so upset. You would, I, 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 you would have been the first person I messaged and went, "Hey, hey, Monty, you want me to do the voice?" <laughs> there is a you, guys. There is now a Universe B for Monty right now. We have just created Universe B. Excellent, so excellent. Is that the Baron Stain in the universe? Yep, that is the Baron Stain. There is Baron Stain nah. Monty on the I'm other gonna, side. I'm gonna big drown round. my anger in these beautiful Die Hard dice. <laughs> oh, Die Hard dice! Die Hard dice. They won't die respond hard to dice. my love letters. I die keep Hard, just, letters just like your flowers. friend's character did last night. <laughs> yeah. Well, to be fair, I'm pretty sure she didn't have Die Hard dice. So I'm sure if she had Die Hard dice. She probably would still be alive. It, this all could have been avoided. Yeah. You just had Die Hard Dice. That no, day. that's not even remotely true. I haven't looked into their products like recently because I, I know they release products every now and again, but I need to look and see what new dice have been released because they are always they got some dice. fucking really cool like gold, purple, and black ones. Oh, nice. I, for, I forget what they were called, but they look really badass. Die Hard Dice. Die Hard Die. Dice. Which will not sponsor. It's been wild because we've been seeing a lot of people buying Die Hard Dice and like saying like, oh, like thanks guys for letting us know and like. I use them. I use them all the freaking time. I bought their dice so much because, like, they're just they're really good dice. So if you guys need dice again, dieharddice.com. They have if you buy like a nice metal set of dice, they'll actually give you a free set of uh, plastic dice uh, as well. Uh, especially if you tell them like you know where you heard them from or you know how you found out about them. Man, um, I can't I can't believe this is going to lead to an animatic where Panic is like telling everyone at the Sweet Dragon about these. It's like the Rick uh, pimping Nintendo scene from Rick and Morty. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. It's much worse than that. It's the Oscar Mayer Wiener hey, scene. Hey, Kurt, can I audition Simpsons. for Panic in the commercial? Yes, you can get Thank it, you. actually. Awesome. We, need a, we, need, we need a celebrity to play it. I figured. Yep, I got you. <laughs> just... All righty. Uh, you can find me at twitch.tv slash taco 101. Uh, where I'm currently in the midst of a move, so there might be slightly less streams. Uh, we got ASMR lo-fi beats when we're playing uh, City Skylines. We got the Sea of Thieves, where we're dealing with aimbots, but we're still having fun on the high seas. We got wrestling tomorrow night, and I am excited because once I get all situated, dude, I'm going to go on a full-time schedule. And that's right. Yes, yes, Love Adventure Go will be returning. No. For fri- no, for, fr- for Friday nights. Gaijin right, run. Bye. By the way, Ma- Kurt, if you if you keep messing with Gaijin during the stream, I swear I will hurt you. 
No, I love it. Oh, don't you he's, understand? He's, Bosco, he's been nice. He's been nice yeah, this stream. Ab absolutely. It, it's been okay. But be on, be on the watch. <laughs> no, but like, Dyson, seriously, Dyson I will murder you and everything that you love. I'm, I'm, I'm scared to say this on stream, but if you ever had, like, a charity event, I'd be willing to sacrifice myself to do a fucking dating sim thing with you, Kurt. Hi, I died. I'm sorry, wait, Monty, uh, did I hear you correctly that if we did a charity event... You would be and willing I, to play a dating game. Now, I don't know if you know this, but I'm a very charitable person. I'm very oh, giving of my time. So would you give, there would you, is would you one dating game role? in particular that I'd like you to play with me if you do it for charity. Oh, God. Yeah. Did you already do the one I was in? Uh, we got halfway through that. So, Monty, uh, if you would for charity, I want you to play Dream Daddy with me. Mm, oh, actually, God. I actually wanted to play that one because my friend Darcy's played it. Well, there awesome. you go. Then you should play yeah. that with me for charity. But then where's the torture? You, you uh, hit me I, I, I believe she was. No. I think I believe she was suggesting with my show. But thanks for stealing that. Thanks, Bob. No, that's all good. No, yeah, no, it's all good. No, it's all good. It's all good. No, but I wanted to have fun. That's why. I tried you know, to play uh, Monster Prom and I immediately regretted it. It's a good game. It's a good game. But boy, is it not a game for me. <laughs> like, <laughs> like. You, you know what? Just for that. Taka, I officially offer my services for the next Nekopara game. I offer, I asked you and you said, fuck yes. Don't you rewrite this. <laughs> offer, you don't have a say in this. Okay, so here's what here's what the next Nekopara is about, all right, Goomba? You know what no. you're in for? No, 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 no. Just talking to Goomba here before we get into the bed. Here's what fucking happens in four. They give it a synopsis of the plot. All right, so the main character has to go to France. So he goes to France. Because he has to talk to his senpai. He meets another girl, blah, 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 cat girls. But here's the most important message. He's trying to get his father's respect. <laughs> and I cannot wait for clicking the next button and getting it. Because I'm going to be real. It's going to feel really, it's going to feel really inauthentic, just like real life. Ah, uh, okay. But guys, like we got a lot of people we got to thank. We got a lot of people we got to thank here. So many amazing people. All right, Dad well, likes us. I know he. I know he does. I'm just. You, you gotta. You gotta do like. You gotta. You gotta like play it. You up. gotta play for the trope of the bit. Dude, Dad you really yes like that. He loves us. He doesn't understand yeah. us, but he loves us. No, no, Dad. Dad doesn't get it, but he loves us. <laughs> yeah, but that's, all right. That's like his all job, right. isn't it? Like, isn't that part of the job requirement? Like, I'll never. I'll never forget on one of my birthday parties. I know we're getting so sidetracked, but I'll never forget one of my birthday parties. My dad grabbed me by the shoulder when all my friends were over and we were hanging out. He grabbed me by the shoulder turned me aside he said he went he went nadine all your friends are really weird and i'm like what <laughs> <laughs> and, he, and he, he like looked at me so seriously like, all your friends are really weird i'm like yeah and he's like but they're good people and he patted me twice on the shoulder and stepped away and i'm like all right thanks Dad. that is the closest you're gonna get to a are you winning son moment are you win i wish dad would ask me that because i never am <laughs> All right, um, light the, <laughs> light the Shadow Reaper. Thank you so much for the sub. PM Ghost dropping not one, not two, not three, not four, but five subs to the community. Thank you so much, Adam. CW, thank you as well for the Prime sub. Ark Requiem D with the five subs. Thank you so much. You're my favorite character in One Piece, Ark Requiem D. I want to thank Shivering Wolf 99, the Zack Monster. Deluna 13, Dark Lord Derp, Shut Up, I'm Evil, Mark Wolf, Pingu Crimson, Ken Smee, Protoss 103, <laughs> um, Mpol 72990, Arc Wack WMD, Arc Wack with two more subs. Mac God, Gwen Ninja, Infinite U, what's this? Vartixes, Valzoa 23, Skyblaze 71325, and thank you to Inferno U, what's this? Five additional subs gifted to the community. Thank you so much to Inferno U. What's this? Why, it's you, and you're so kind. Goodren, thank you so much for the sub as well. Faye Raven, Mickey D92, Zanwin, the Sequin Kid. Thank you so much. Thortrod, 6,000. Thank you so much for the five subs. Gifted to the community. Very kind of you. Thunder King, Ake, Maverick, the Warlock, Oz, 195, B. Kimball, 1993, DZA, 9,000, Mad Mike, 4271, Spirit of Love, Lost Nail, gifting an additional five subs to the community. Thank you so much to Lost Nail for those five subs. Gifting subs to people like Jake, Hooper Gamer, and Scoot Laboot, some of the sexiest names. Awesome, Link, thank you for the sub as well. And Dracheezy Otaku, 40, 54, thank you so, 45, thank you so much. And Mike and Dark Magic Pez, thank you so much for the subs as well. Now we're going to go on down here because we ain't quite done yet. Let me tell you, and you son of a bitch, you did not. I hate this. Pro okay. Um. Hi guys. So there's some so so some bits were removed <laughs> once again by this 
godforsaken program, let me tell you. Uh, Duke Skelebuns with a 1500. Hey, guys, took off the work for the birthday today. Happy birthday! And now I get to catch us live for once. Hopefully, you guys get some good rolls tonight. Hopefully, Monty doesn't use her rainbow dice. From Die Hard Dice, the unofficial oh, sponsor. I was, I, was, I was digging through, and I was like, maybe, but I'm like, no, no, no. I'll put you away and the Prince another. Division. And the Prince Division. <clears throat> Stupid skeletons with a 1500 bits. Thank you so much. Blackfoot Ferret, Robert's nephew. Thank you so much for the bits. Savannah's with the 500 bits. Happy to be back and watch you guys again. It will really help to brighten the pretty tiresome day. Well, thank you so much. Uh, Robert's nephew, thank you so much. Uh, the Ice Flame Dagger with 850 bits, you guys. And the Ox Ventures got me into DMing for my family and friends. Well, thank you so much for saying. Lovey Lorelei, 51 with the 750 bits. Careful guy. Money has been exposed to the sweet taste of player blood. Mm. It is a worrisome. Super Choco Devil with the 500 bits. As someone trying to DM for several groups, you guys inspire me for new and fun ideas. Well, thank you so much. Dude, the man, Poo Poo's a monkey. Thank you for the bits as well. I want to thank Improved Furball for the 10,000 bits Whoa. from Improved Furball. Thank you so much for doing that. We lost you in the Streamlabs feed here, but I do have your name here, and I do have your name here, and I want to thank you very much, Improve Furball, for the 10,000 bits. And not just that, guys. We have to thank some other people. We have to thank the Forever Dungeon Master for the 5,000 bits as well. The Forever Dungeon Master, thank you so much. But remember, someday you have to play. You have to play. You have to play. Exactly, right? But guess what? We also get to thank none other than Faye Raven for 10,000 additional bits. Have the bits, and I thought it was—I th thought this was Taka's channel for a moment from lack of energy. But anyways, hope you all have been well and safe. Now, say, gave, give us a, what was the what was the drive by? What the? Uh huh. <laughs> He's coming by, like slapping the bowl of cereal out of my hands. It was like the last little bit of milk I had. Like Jesus, you've been, Faye you've Raven. Been moving, that's exhausting. Anyone who it's, hasn't moved before, you have no idea how exhausting. You know what I got to do in. yesterday, Nadine? I got I got to be on on customer support with Shock Shock Cable while I was installing my internet. Woo! It was the greatest, greatest. It's honestly, it's a nonstop roller coaster of being tired. Faye Raven, though, with the 10,000 bits. Thank you so much for the 10,000 bits. And Thortron, 6,000 with the 5,000 bits. My God, you guys. No message, just 5,000 bits. God damn, thank you so freaking much. Thortron, 6,000. Thousand, you gotta thank you six thousand times for all that kindness. My goodness, McCleary nine six fifteen. Thank you for the bits as well. Uh, Flustered Bun, thank you for the bits. I want to thank Nom Nom and Goblin. McCleary nine six fifteen. I want to thank you guys for the bits as well. Flustered Bun as well. Doug B ninety five. Dougie B ninety five. Sorry, two thousand five hundred bits. Hey guys, I got call. I got called back to work starting next week, so this may be the last time I can watch you live for a while. So just wanted to say thanks. For all the fun and good luck with the rolls. That was so kind. It was so nice. You sure you don't want to insult my stream? <laughs> Jesus. Doug B95, thank you so much. <clears throat> I appreciate that. And now I get to and now I want to thank some more people here for some more kindness. His Oro94 with a 1500 bits. My group couldn't meet uh, meet today, so I desperately need this for my DD fix. All right, we'll inject it right into your veins, straight into your spinal column. Oh, Mon the Gloomy Bunny, thank you for the bits as well. I want to thank Lost Snail for the additional five subs to the community. It is very nice of you. Awesome link, Dirichi Chisi Otaku 54, Dark Magic Pez. There we go, we're caught up. Ragnarok. Good Row 12, Samurai 5, 4, 6, 1, Last Grafuffle, Keyblade Forger 96. Sahins. <laughs> I think I said that right. Thank you so much, Rosso06. Okay, thank you. You have as more. Well. You have more time because I realized I didn't write an intro. So, Game Monkey One Four Six with a thousand bits finally gets to celebrate my birthday with the Unexpectables and their inch deep apple pie. Thanks for making this great. Why an inch? <laughs> if you give an inch, you got to give a mile. There we go. Thank you so much for the one thousand bits. So, Game Monkey One Four Six. I want to thank Super Blue Hedgehog with one thousand and six bits. Here, have some bits. Ah, fast. Yes. Thank you though. Eh. Eh, John four nine three three. Uh, John four John four nine three five seven with a fifteen hundred bits. Next week is my thirtieth birthday. Now your knees will hurt when you wake up. So for that, take my bits. And I and I ask for only one thing. You guys have fun. That's all. P.S. I'm worried for your PCs because Monty tastes with blood and she wants more. So run, run, run. Interesting. A lot of people are warning us. Starboard Jack thirty three with a five hundred bits. Thank you guys for everything. You are the best. Aw, oh, thank you. Oh, oh, you're saying that to Connor. Okay, I understand. Probate with a thousand bits. Here's the tithe. Spend my money well. I have vested interest in your success. Thank you, Probate, for the one thousand bits. We're glad you have vested interest in our success. We're gonna. We will. It, we will be in an excess of success. 
That works. Yeah, Thank you so much for that. No, no, no. Thor tries 6,000 with another 600 bits. Thank you so much. Guys, you won't believe it, but Faye Raven dropped another 10,000 bits. Can we give God a round damn of applause it. for Faye God Raven? Damn. Just... Hey, Raven, thank you so freaking much. <laughs> thank you so much for the 10,000 bits I saved extra for this moment. So have some more bit shenanigans. Thank you, Faye Raven, for the 10,000 bits. God damn. We appreciate your shenanigans. Your shenanigans are cheeky and fun. Our shenanigans are mean and dispirited, which doesn't make them shenanigans at all, hey, really. You don't speak for us. Scarpajack33 with another thousand bits. You guys have kept me sane all year. Please never stop. Oh, well, well, well please. I mean, we well, gotta take well, a break sometime. Well, that's just that you're just holding you're just you're just holding us like putting a gun to our head and blaming us if something goes wrong. Scarpajack33, thank you for the one thousand. My old man bones are so brittle when I have to get up on Wednesday every night to do the thing. It's true. It's true. It, it does that subreddit that's just for people who haven't broken a bone, and when someone breaks a bone, they fucking bully the crap out of them. Just, uh -huh, you dummies. Yeah, get, get out of this subreddit, crackle bones. <laughs> crackle bones. <laughs> Fay <Faye> Raven. <laughs> 10,000 bits. Break, so. Don't break your finger bone when you press the unsub button. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the kind, that's the kind of exclusion that's fun. Uh, Van Tanagi, thank you so much for the sub. The handful in the hand in the iron fist. Monkey feet 01. Cryptic Saiyajin. Alexander Was, thank you so much for the subs, guys. And as well, I want to thank ServerTech33. Again, for the bits. Killed Rider, do the man. Thank you for the bits as well. I want to thank the Ann underscore Icy underscore Briz with a thousand bits. Probably won't stick around tonight. Had a long three day of roofing in 90 plus degree weather. Roll oh. well and stay hydrated, folks. Oh, you have my sympathy. That's going to be absolutely fucking brutal. But thank you, and Icy Briz. We wish you had an icy breeze while you were doing that. The Forever Judge of Messer with another 3,000 bits. But Taka, I love the mastery over the players. You guys are partly the reason I am forever. Ooh. Ooh, the Forever Dungeon Master. Scary it, thought, though. That's it's that's pain. that's. Well, welcome to a life of pain, but also triumph. I mean, that's not that's not DMing. Right. That's just fet that's just fetish play at this point. Uh, very very judgmental. Think about three thousand bits. So, with a lack of with a thousand bits, anyone else remember when Balfour Balton predicted the bee dragon and threatened to punch it? Unexpected oh, Balfour. Shit. Oh, Damn, fuck. that's really that's crazy. Cryvin one with five hundred bits. <laughs> Hope you came up with more cheesy store names. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Kai Reason with a thousand bits. The best part of all this hearing your voices and other things. For instance, hearing Dragon Dad Task as Dragon Dad Bowser. All right. I'm ready to go when you are. I made it. Okay, no worries. I'm going to thank Kai Reason for the thousand bits. Salute. Heads on. Salute. And, and 765 Super. I blame Die Hard Dice. I got distracted by their beautiful dice and choosing between which ones to use that I got distracted and didn't write it. Did you say Die Hard Dice? Why do you have so many great choices? We're not. We're not going to be offered a sponsorship. We're going to be offered a cease and desist. I hope you guys. Yeah, I know. I keep saying the poetry and they never respond. That's fine. But yeah, guys, thank you all so much. And again, thank you to Fay Raven for the 20,000 bits. Improved Verbal for the 10,000. The Forever Dungeon Master for the six, for the 8,000. Thortron, 6,000 for the 5,600. Thank you guys so much. All right. You guys ready to play? Yeah. Okay. I'm good. All right. So when last we left our heroes, Task the Cobalt Ranger, Panic the Tiefling Bard, Borky the Orc Barbarian, Remy the Kenku Fighter, and Greckles the Kenku Rogue, <coughs> the party has returned to the city of Alabast and enjoyed some downtime after learning of the United Clergy. Uh, oh gosh. After learning of the United Clergy of Orans approach the city, the Alabast Inquisition's investigation to potential Oran spies and other personal developments. The party enjoyed a variety of downtime activities, speaking with their employees and meeting with their friends around the city. But after returning home, the party discovered their beloved chef, Ty Borpington, missing and a hole in the kitchen floor. So you guys are all in the kitchen at this point, standing around this strange hole. How big is this hole? Uh, it is Ty Borpington sized. Ah, uh, so small. So Good. I can fit. Is it Ty Borpington size, you said? Yeah, but he's buff, so he can get everybody. Mm, it's true, but he functions on cartoon rules sometimes. So it's... It's hammer space logic. We have no idea. Mm. <laughs> uh, he puts his head down the hole. Puts his head in the hole. Mr. Borpington! My, my, my. It echoes Mr. Down. Borpington! I do any further investigations to possibly see if there was a scuffle, scratch marks, uh, or anything besides the nails that we that that we already saw. 
Uh, sure, yeah, go ahead and roll an investigation check. Whop him. Uh, it's soft 20. It doesn't look like there was, like, violence. Hmm. Hey, Monty. Yes. Mm. Can I roll an investigation check to see if there's any, like, rodent, like, hair, blood, or anything so I could use Hunter's Mark? Uh, sure. Go ahead and roll a survival check, I'm gonna say, because that's, like, tracking, I'd say. Yep. Let's go! Nice. Oh, 23! Yeah. Sure enough, yeah, you find, uh, you kind of go looking around and you find some hair in the pantry. I cast Hunter's Mark on the hair, and that gives me... No, I don't want to... I want the spell, please. Uh, I have advantage hair. on Wisdom Perception and Wisdom Survival checks to find the target. All right. Uh, you manage to see, like, almost like a visual sign of, like, footprints leaving that space going into the hole. Huh? Whose footprints are these? All right, well, like, I guess Task's eyes, like, I guess they glow in a sense, like, weird ethereal blue as he's, like, looking at the hair and looking down the hole. You have, like, Batman senses. Oh, fuck yeah, I got detective vision! Yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude! I can't Didn't wait you to see break the Batman about to jump out of the, uh, jump out of the holes? Ah! Yo, listen, like, I can't wait to break bones and get away with the fact that, like, I'm not killing anyone. I'm just, like, getting them, like, hospitalized in prison. It's gonna be great. God. You know, you know, Kiryu never oh, killed okay. anyone. <laughs> All right. So, Monty, in that case, uh, how it, it's just just pitch dark straight down the hole, right? Yeah, it's just it's just a hole. There's no installed lights or anything. All right. So, Greckles is gonna cast uh, dancing lights Ooh. Um, Ooh. as a single as a single light source, okay. and try to move it down as far as he can, either before it hits a wall, a turn. Or if it goes out of, until it goes out of range, just to kind of see how deep it goes. Does it bend or curve, or is it just a straight drop? Uh, you send down the dancing light, and it kind of goes down. Um, it seems to be like a corkscrew that kind of goes down. Weird. Yeah. Huh. But it's not a straight drop, right? Like if we went into no. it. No. If you were going into it, you'd have to. You, I'd say Borky would have to crawl. Task, mm -hmm. you could probably stand. Okay. Um, I'll be Probably, yeah, everybody but Tass is going to have to, like, like Metal Gear Solid crawl through. Um, right. But it does seem to be a very well-used path. As you guys kind of look at the dirt itself, it's definitely been frequently used. Uh, Borky, you I... know that Ty Burbington mentioned that a lot of food was going missing, so it makes sense. Mm -hmm. and Mr. Popington said there was food missing <laughs> and wanted me to keep watch, which is what I was going to do tonight. But it looks like I, it, it like... I, I should have done that earlier in the day. Well, That's what I get for being selfish and trying to open up my own business. Oh, Borky, no Borky, like, we just learned about this right now, so... No God, time like the present. I jump in. Uh, it's kind of tight. I'm going to have to get on my knees. Greckles jumps in. All right. <laughs> <laughs> is no one, is I'm no going to have to get on my knees. With, I'm in. Is no one concerned how awkward it's going to be for the <laughs> boxster? Task is fucking flossing in the hole. No, why do you ask? <laughs> Mm. I will strike well. you where you stand. <laughs> <laughs> Borky just goes, all right, I, I will hurt the ones you love. Borky like puts Ron Fault between his knees and holds the blade with his hands. All right, let's get going. <laughs> all right. Cast, uh, detect magic while all okay. this is going on. I'll, I'll keep those uh, lights up as well. You detect obviously the magic on your allies. Uh, Task is currently glowing like crazy with ab uh, not abjuration. What is? It is abjuration. Is, is it abjuration? No, it's, no, it's divination. It's divination. Yeah, I'm divination. Sorry. Divination. Yeah. Um, Task is currently glowing with divination. Beyond that, everything else is basically normal. Uh, there is some magic in Ty's kitchen, but that's all stuff you would be no privy to. Like, is he's got like a a uh, a chest that basically keeps things cold inside of it. He's got like other other such things that help him with cooking. But beyond that, like there's something out of the ordinary. Uh, also, uh, before we head in, uh, I'm going to take the time to... Hmm. This hole doesn't look very stable, does it? Uh, roll a nature check. Oh, shit. Nature check. I don't want to get stuck underground. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Anytime. Natural one. <laughs> <laughs> I want to say it, something, but it's so bad. It is completely safe. 
Okay, um... Go ahead, Monty. I know, I don't want to, it's... I can't. Um... Something, something, tightest hole I've ever been in, something, something. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> what was that? I can't hear you, I'm just looking oh, at you. Oh, no! Just get in the hole. Anyway, anyway, I... I ritual cast... Better. I ritual cast Unseen Servant. I bet you do. Okay, that takes. Dude. How long does it take to ritual cast that? Because your allies, if your allies are going ahead, then they're not waiting for you. Mm, it would take ten minutes normally, but. Uh, eh, you know what? I can burn a spell slot. Why not? Okay. I'll burn a spell slot to cast Unseen Servant. Okay, your Unseen Servant appears. Uh, all right. Can I so, see it? No, it is invisible. <laughs> <laughs> Can I see it? Um, yeah. so... The servant can perform simple tasks, such as cleaning, mending, folding clothes, lighting fire, serving food, pouring wine. Uh, I am going to give it the command to fortify the tunnel? Okay, with how? By placing wood support beams. Where are the wood support beams for this task? I don't fucking know. <laughs> Is it right here? Are there Are you... ballasts? Like, what's this? I can't. What's this cave like? Do we need mining helmets and a do canary? Do we and pans that Ty has? Do we? We can. Do we, we need a jaunty some... tune and a whistle and a whistle? We can All find right, some well... two by fours, can't we? <laughs> you find spoons and wooden oh, spoons and forks Great. that are that'll work. You know a what? Variety just, of sizes. Just, ex just expand the hole, and if it's and if it <laughs> looks like it's gonna get shaky, <laughs> shut you up. should apply. No, Connor, you should apply it directly to the hole. I uh, I, I'm liking this episode already, guys. I'm not. <laughs> it's, I'm it's, really it's not. Hey, it's can good. we call this episode title "Hole in One"? It's mm. not. <laughs> anyway, you have spoons. I am have now default dancing. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna kill all the momentum this show has for this one fucking episode. <laughs> all right, find a shovel. This is why Die Hard make... Dice won't sponsor us. Ah, find a shovel. It. Make the tunnel bigger. All right, you your unseen servant leaves and returns with a shovel, uh, which is easy enough to find, uh, and begins to widen the tunnel for you. Oh. Great. I'll begin crawling then. All right. Oh, this is such a pain in the fucking ass getting back. <laughs> Panic, what's taking you so long getting in this hole? We're already pretty deep, buddy. Yeah. Nothing you need to worry about. Roof, it's like this roof. was made for us. Roof, <laughs> we hit our innuendo <laughs> quota. Okay. Room for one more. Monty's gonna kill us. I'm, I'm just yeah. calling it right the fuck now. Uh, if I if I die, guys, no, she's coming. Okay, I'm the warning sign. I'm the canary in the cave. <laughs> in the oh, she's good. Like, she's she's got the taste of blood from one character. Death. Yeah, Vorky just drops dead. We're leaving. Fate like this. <laughs> All right, you guys start making your way down the hole. Um, ta who's at the front and who's at the end? Oh, I'm in the front. Okay, who's at the back? Probably Borky? No, Panic was the last one, so uh, Panic's getting a fair. whole ass full of or orc ass. Panic's always in the back. Well, not really. So, would okay, so, so Panic's it... taking up the rear. Okay. I bet he is. All right. So, you guys are awful today. What is wrong I, with you? I, Monty, I'm um, having fun, Monty. You no. are. It's fine. Um, all right. So, Task, Greckles, and mm -hmm. then Remy, Borky, Panic. That's our marching yep. order. Yeah, I'll all accept right. that. Okay, so Taz, as you make your way down, eventually this space actually widens up enough to actually, for all of you guys to actually stand up. Um, there oh, are nice. like dirt carved like steps. Um, and notably there is like a dirt carved, almost like slide on one side and then the steps going down. There's I, steps. Huh. What? Is this a new one? Is this like the thing that Scarbles was working on with you, Task? Yeah, is that what's going on? Like, this isn't attached to the main entryway down into the basement? This is... So... This is definitely a Scarble's design, but there is no way one goblin, despite her power, could do all of this by herself. So she's definitely fired, right? Let's, let's, not, let's not get crazy. Maybe we like having her around, all right? Well, she she all stole right, our well. cook. That's not... We don't know she stole her. Maybe Mr. Borkin fell down this hole. 
Jensen. I'm I'm casting fucking uh, I, I'm rolling a survival You're cast casting. to look for the rats. All right. I get to do this with advantage. <laughs> Avantage. A thirteen. You don't see any rats, but you definitely see rat footprints on the ground. Uh, but they are all over the place. Wait, wait, wait. Time out, time out, time out. Can, can Greckles go and inspect it to determine if they were quadruped or bipedal? Um, Holy shit. Big brain. Fucking... Investigation for that one. Yes, ma'am. That's fucking 5D <laughs> chess you're playing. That's that. that's oh, that's oh, that's oh, that's oh, my God. I'm in 10. <laughs> Jesus I'm the Christ. Lord, I'm in double I'm the max Lord. 20. I want, I want to know their body. I want to know their family names. I want to know their birth certificates. I want to okay. know their name. I should watch the docks the fuck out of these rats. <laughs> <laughs> so you look at you look at a footprint. The rat, his name is Dennis. Okay. Oh, all right. All right. He weighs, he weighs, he weighs exactly eighteen point seven pounds. Oh, big rat. He is a spe subspecies of a Norway rat. Mm. Does he make all of the rules? You mean Norwegian? Norwegian rat. Nor they're called Norway rats. Um, he is a hooded speckled rat. Mm. He was carrying a cured ham mm. that was aged for exactly uh, 200 years by a dwarven family in the far off regions of Alton. What the fuck? Hang on. Where is this list that you're reading this off of? Picks or it didn't happen. <laughs> yeah, seriously. I think she ain't making this up on the fly. I'm writing, no, I'm writing all this down. Remember, remember favorite, that talk you said about Monty about having his, throwaway characters? And 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 his favorite food. Uh -huh. Alright. His favorite food is is banana. There you go. Oh banana. wow. Banana? banana? What is a banana? Banana. Alright. Right. Okay. Lore nuts. Lore nuts, Speci you have what you need. Specifically dried banana. <laughs> I wish Yo. I could see chat right now. Yo, lore nuts, go now. <laughs> so Bonnie, is... thank you for rolling with that. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> That's a big ass rat, though. Eighteen pounds. Jesus. Yeah. Now, oh, and it, Dennis is a male, so there you go. Is is it? So we're talking regular rat, not possible wear rat. Uh not wear rat. With your natural double natural twenty, it is not a wear rat. It is possibly maybe uh like just either a very very large normal rat or like maybe like a half breed dire rat, but it's it's a big rat. Male no, rats get big this? though, so. And right, also, so we, mm -hmm. uh, also, if they're eating meat, they're probably getting even bigger, based off of what Scarbles was up to. So, oh, also, for your first question, yes, they are walking on two legs. The specific rat uh, that is the most recent footsteps appears to be walking on two legs, probably so it had its front legs to carry the ham. Oh God! Oh boy! I, th I think we're dealing with advanced rats, guys. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Jesus! I can't believe you you encourage this task. You encourage this. Motherfucker, I'd do it again. <laughs> All right, well, let's see what kind of trouble we can get ourselves into. Well, let's go down the actual, like, sliding hole, because I feel like that's where they've been taken at this point. Well, it's it's the same. It goes the same path. It's oh, okay, one, it goes to the same place. One, All right. One side is clearly for the rats to go down faster, and one is clearly for them to go up faster with the staircase, so... Uh, as you guys make your way down, I'm going to say... Uh, <laughs> you know what? Task grip at the front. Yes. Fuck me. Um, yeah, natural 20 is going to fucking hit you. Oh, no. I mean, you the watch, only way I could possibly see you, is if I get a nat 20. As you turn down into a very large cavernous opening, you hear a... As Ty Warpington comes down at you with a kitchen knife out of nowhere and almost stabs you and stops. He goes, oh, task! I have, watching, I have a knife wearing, at his throat. <laughs> he's wearing like full gorilla, like camouflage war paint on his face and like tactical, like medieval, like vestiges. And, and like, <laughs> he's got like every like length of, of arm has like a kitchen knife on it. And he's just like, whoa, he puts the kitchen knife away. Task, it's you. Has anyone ever told you you look like a particular species of swamp rat? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Popping Kid. Mr. Popping Kid. Barbie! Oh, Mr. Boy, what happened? We, why did you fall in this hole? Did something they drag you? They took my ham! Those I mean, sons of bitches! Wait, you mean Dennis? Who the fuck is Dennis? 
That's what we're gonna find out, Ty. That's what we're gonna find out. Well, we better find out. I've had that that hat for almost my entire life. Uh, two hundred years to be specific. Exact. Well, I mean, it's been aged for two hundred years. How do you know that? He looks very confused. I have ways. Oh, oh, <laughs> I have that. Wow. <laughs> also, Zito, Michael you can't be mad from Long watch. Island. You, it's fair. It's a fair comparison. Guys, this is just a shit post episode. Let's just go with it. <laughs> Bosco. <laughs> Stop spitting truth at me, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, well, how far down did you go, and did you see any traces of them? Well, I went about... He looks down at the floor. This far! But the rat outran me. It's very fast. Even on two legs. Well, doesn't that mean... Wouldn't it be slower because it's walking on two legs? You'd think that, mm. but I am very short. That's true. He looks down his little stumpy little legs. Hey, Mr. Popping, can, Mr. Popping, can you describe the, the perpetuator? Ah, uh, he was a hooded speckled rat. Mm -hmm. Nail rat. Yes. Run back Around in. 18 pounds. 18, 18 That's a big points. rat. You're points. scaring me. He turns towards you, Crackles, and just looks at you with one of these big <laughs> eyes. <laughs> his favorite food is bananas. We could probably do something with that. Mr. Popington, do you have any bandanas? Oh, of course! <laughs> a perfect infiltration does not come without bandanas! And you watch as he pulls out like all these like olive green bandanas and hands each one to each of you guys. <laughs> now, Gre much, now, now Grekel squints. <laughs> Borky puts the bandana on. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Yeah, Mr. Popington, now, we, now that we found you, do you, you want to head back or do you want to come with us? I want my ham! No, oh, just let's go, right, let's go! While this is going on, Monty, I want to use my new ability. After spending a minute of these guys listening to that, I use the bandana to dip it in dirt, and I cast Hide in Plain Sight on myself. All right. Like, you know in World of Warcraft where people go, and just disappear? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yep. Yep. That's you. Yeah. Yep. I'm moving on. I just tell them I'm moving on ahead, and then I'm just gone. All right. Yeah, I'll, I'll actually go get sneaky as we continue forward as well. All right, so you guys want to move stealthily then? I must have all yeah. stay by my six, which I believe is to my side. Actually, it's uh, uh, behind you, Borky. Yes, uh, well, what he said. Mr. Okay. Mr. Borpington, this, this rat is very important to you, yes? The rat? No, the ham, yes. Mm. Ah, fair. Let's get going. Let's move. Let's move. Where did um, Tash go? I'm waiting for a stealth for a potential stealth check. Everybody, Hash. group stealth check, please. Please, please don't. Here we go. We get to add a plus this? ten to that because of me. Oh, 35 then. Are you using your? Are you? Are you did you cast pass without a trace? Because no, 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 no. It's hide, hide in plain sight. Oh, you get. Oh, to, not you your, get not it. Your okay. Yeah. Yeah, he oh, yeah. gets it. I get it. Yeah, okay, yeah, so yeah. 25 for me. Nice. Here we go. Ooh, that's a 19. How did 20. I nat 20 on the other side? Getting a lot of that. And a nat 20 from Connor. Fuck! Oh what? my god! Oh my god! Hi, oh, so that's 35. I'm so Monty, how many nat 20s does it take to find a rat? Um, apparently like three. Also, Jeez. I'm I fear for any Saturday game we ever do, Connor. <laughs> do, do, um, real quick, so Jesus all Christ! Of you, all of you guys somehow managed to find and utilize the form of crates and boxes to travel ahead. Um, at one point, you guys, like, all hide, like, as just a bunch of debris, like, behind some rocks, and you're completely, like, melded into the surroundings. And I'm gray, and I'm wearing black, so I'm just walking. <laughs> Yo, guys, I'm all about these fucking bandanas. This I, is I, haven't guys, roll, I, I haven't rolled. Task. Yeah. Oh, yeah, roll, roll, Kurt. You need to roll. It's group check. But I mean, see that I mean, yeah. you'd have to double that no. one for us to not be seen. Oh, did you roll the dexterity check, Chris? Yeah, you didn't roll oh. the self check. Yeah. No. Oh. But it was still a nat 20, so it would have... I'll let you I mean, keep it. I'll let you keep it because it's funnier that way. I mean, I it's you. literally the same thing. The only It thing is the same thing. It Fair literally enough. would have been the same thing, just with a proficiency <laughs> bonus. Fair enough. Um, as you guys uh, make your way, Task and everybody, you guys begin to hear the sound of, of footsteps or like like small feet moving up ahead. Um, and you guys all kind of like collide up against the wall. And you watch as two very large rats... 
um, on four legs run up the stairs. They're just kind of running past you guys. One is from head to toe is black, but has a bit of like a sort of like a, a fawn brown on the face and the ears. Uh, the other one is a white albino rat. Um, two of them are kind of like, they're very fat, by the way. These are some round rats. They are making their way up the stairs uh, past you guys. Two feet? Are, are they, uh, no, are, poor legs. Are they talking at all? Uh, perception check. Because I have a new thing that could be real helpful right now. Can I give it a shot as well? Or? Ah, 12. I'll say Gaij, uh, Greckles, and Tass can do this because they're up the front. 15. It's really hard to hear them because they're not saying anything. Okay, uh, all right, cool. So. Magic? I perceive. You don't get 21. to there. <laughs> uh, you see rats. Hmm. All right. We uh, the magic? He's one of them. Uh, rats. were you casting detect magic? I didn't hear you. I you have detect before. magic. Yeah. Oh, your detect magic would have gone away at this point. You guys have been walking for a while. Beans. I'll cast it again. Why not? All right. Uh, they are not magic. These are normal rats. Mm. But they're He's... walking bipedally, both of them. So they got to no, be No, they're walking no, they're on, on all four legs. Legs. Oh, they're I... on all fours. Okay, four legs, yeah. Yeah. All right. I suggest that we let them just go on their merry way and we keep going down further and see if Scarbles is all right. Yeah, I'm okay, I'm okay with that plan. Sounds good to me. All right, let's move forward. All right, you guys keep moving forward. Uh, as you stealth, the rats just don't even notice you and make their way up the stairs past you. You guys continue to make your way down. Um, and you begin to hear the sound of shifting rock uh, and the sound of a voice kind of echoed and garbled in the echoes of a large cave up ahead. Can we hear for it? Uh, from this pers from this point, no. Um, you could roll, you get a natural 20, you won't be able to discern what's going on. It's just like literally like far off, like. Uh, All right, well then let's, let's stealth our way over like it, then. Yeah. It's really distorted. As you guys stealthy way down the stairs, uh, the stairs open up to almost like a, you know, like when you go into a basement and like this, you hit the ceiling and then it opens up into a room. You guys hit a point where the entire expanse opens up to a large cavern. Uh, it reminds you of the cavern you met Euphoria Grimtongue in with the vastness and the size of it. Mm. Um, and as you guys look down, if you any of you guys were a uh, building inspector, uh, you would seize up at the horribleness of what you see. You see about a thousand rats currently working in tandem, moving around rocks and dirt. And you see from the floor to the ceiling about 40 feet high, a massive partially uh, archivated um, door, like a big door, chamber door. Um, and you currently see Scarbles on top of a rock, uh, like, like making orders. Like, okay, yeah, yeah, put the ham over there. And then uh, Maurice, Klaus, and uh, Jeremy get rock 2.0. She's like barking orders to them as they're moving. I'm sneaking up behind her. You can try. I, I want to try. Stealth check. 28. All right. You <laughs> manage to self up behind her as you watch as one of the rats hands her like a, like a thing of water. It's like, oh, thank you. Oh, I, oh. I, wait, I, I wait for all the rats to not be paying attention to her. I grab oh, her by impossible. the mouth. And, oh, that is fuck. impossible. Yeah, they Damn are it. all, there are so many rats right now that she is barking orders to right now that right, well, you don't seem to notice it. All right, well, I guess she hears my voice but doesn't see me. You have a lot of explaining to do. Ah, God. I, I wipe the dirt away from my face. No genius. Task? <clears throat> Again, I reiterate, you have a lot of explanating. explanation. Uh, yeah, 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 I can explain, I can explain. And she does a sharp whistle and immediately all the rats just drop what they're doing and like gather around her rock and all like sit upright. Is it just you here? No. Hi, Scarbles! Borky stands up from stealth and wave with a smile on his face. Hi, Borky! Hi! All right, I just, you, uh, I, just motion, I motion for everyone to just come in. Look like you've been busy. Yeah, come on in, come on in. Wow, wow this earth is, is crazy. going on. As you guys make your way uh, up forward, you watch as the rats like all very politely step back. They're all just like, oh, just step back. I'm gonna try and find some cave music here. Magic? Am I am I sensing any of that? Everyone, roll initiative. Um, in this chamber, no, surprisingly. Um, God. 
it is completely magic free in here. I mean, there's a general sort of vibe of Alavastian magic that is always kind of permeating mm -hmm. areas, but this doesn't have it. It's completely normal. All right, Scarbles, what's going on? Well, and you watch his tie board. He's like, "Where is my ham?" And he's like, I, "Oh, jeez." Nope, ah. Yeah, Mr. Bobbin watches ham. Look, look, Mr. Borkington, we need to, uh, you know, entice the workers. And all the rats are just like, like, nod to each other and look up. <laughs> Scarbles, you realize you stole from us, correct? She leans forward to you, Crackles. Look, I got it. They're trying to unionize. I got to stop it somehow. He, he just puts a talent on his <laughs> shoulder and just pushes her <laughs> back slowly. So real. Now, now <laughs> tell us what's going on then. All right. Well, uh, the rat breeding program, they disappeared. Oh, God. Well, hold on. Hold on. I found out oh, why. Uh-huh. What's that? They found this place. And she points to this big door. Well, it's just like the second big door we found under our house. I have a theory. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I think there might have been dwarves here once upon a time. You don't say. We already figured that one out with the other door, Scarbles. Yeah, but it's like bigger was that, here. Was that dwarves or elves? I forget. That it was, was dwarves. dwarves. It was dwarves. Mm. Dwarves. So how are the rats sentient then? I don't know. They're just smart. Hmm. Hmm. Rats are rats. Anyway, I've and... been trying to like entice them to get open that door. There might be some treasure in there. It could. Oh, it, 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 it could be demons. Judging I the door. <laughs> okay. Uh it is it is still heavily buried by rock and stone and, and dirt. Um it is I'm gonna say roll a history check. Magic. <laughs> it's not magic. <laughs> Did you just sniff? Uh mm -hmm. history check is gonna be oh. seventeen. Seventeen. Mm -hmm. This is definitely dwarven made. Um but I mean, you don't like dwarves, so you don't know specifically what dwarven make it is. Mm. Um, but this is old. This is very old dwarven architecture. Um, it, unlike the chamber beneath, like the Albear waffles, um, this is definitely bigger and grander. Mm. Well, we have a librarian. We can have them come down here and actually, you know, analyze this. Yeah, I mean, I was thinking, you know, after the dragon attack and how he almost died, I mean, be better to have some bigger places to go. Oh. Uh, quick question. Does this door look like the old, the same door we saw last time? In the yeah, other hole? It have to be specific, because that's... There's does, no it the, look, does it look like the door... Does it have, like, the same... Does it look like it's the same make? Like, if, as if it's, like, just a carbon copy of the same door we saw well, last time with the ghosts? It's still buried pretty well underneath all the rubble. It is buried pretty well. From what you can gather, it has the same framing as Oakenlock, which was the door immediately like that you guys had as a storage space. Mm. This is like kingdoms, like iron. You know, I, I keep using mm. WoW references because I've been playing. Uh, no, no, it's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Iron, you get it. iron, iron, iron Forge front entrance size. Gotcha. Yeah. Oh, this is shit. a big ass closed door. I, I look at Scarbles. I give her a stern look. But then I give her a thumbs up like you did good. Well, gee, thanks. Can we keep the ham now? And Ty's like, absolutely not. The problem is uh, the rats are need to be fed, especially the big ones. They eat a lot. So I've been kind of procuring some stuff from the kitchen. Well, you understand now that there's going to be a lot of people interested in this and we may not need them as much as you think. Oh, fuck. But she she reaches down and pulls up one of the rats. It's got like it's kind of like missing an eye, and she just hugs it. And goes, but I I love them. I didn't say we had to get rid of them. I'm just saying there's going to be more professional people interested in this. <laughs> A little rat what? just like comes up and kicks him with the shin. She's like, "Will you call it not professional? <laughs> you fucking <laughs> asshole!" <laughs> you get surrounded by rats, Greckles, and they all kind of start squeaking aggressively towards you. Yeah, she's, uh, uh, Krakos, 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 read the room, read the room. I mean, Just, you can, I can read the room and, and <laughs> I can read the room all I want. This information's gonna eventually get public. It's gonna get a lot of people's attention. 
Well, now the only I thing, we don't the only thing, Hold on. I mean, yeah, that's surprising. She kind of does finger guns towards you, Panic. And the only thing is we could tell people or maybe we don't. Well, what's going to happen if we unearth this door and it ain't treasure behind it? Well, then you hire some mercenaries to clear it out. I was going to say, mm. we did find some bones. Bones? Bones. Can what we see these bones? bones? Are they big bones or tiny bones? They're kind of tiny bones. Mm -hmm. mm. Well, so let's dwarf okay. bones. Uh, she takes you over to this one area where the rats have laid out different objects uh, that they've probably found found while digging this out. There's like pieces of statue and like um, like bent nettle stuff that's just like a pretty rock that they probably found. Um, but amongst it is a laid out uh, partial skeleton. Um, I just gotta find uh, anyone who wants to can make a medicine check to try to identify what these bones. Sure, are. I, got I got med, so well, I, I can give it a shot. The pipe and hot 14. 19. Medicine. Task, do it with advantage because you would have more. 14. So, so 21. So 21 then. 21, okay. Uh, 19. All right. So, actually, this makes a lot of sense. Um, so, task and panic. Um, this appears to be, based off of the leg structure alone, these are darkling bones. Oh, shit. Well, darkling? Yeah, darkling bones. What's, what's what? I, I I for the for the wa for the D and D new. What's a darkling? For the wa <laughs> uh, they are essentially um, they're like cursed fae. Um, oh. oh, we went from dwarves to fae. They appreciate artwork, um, but um, more or less, they uh, they can't really deal with the sunlight anymore as part of their curse. Yep, so they're they're really they're really all about the finer things in life, making things beautiful, but the problem is is that sunlight will just make them melt. Darkling duck when this trouble. Okay, that's where my brain went too. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, you're not the only one. <laughs> okay, okay. This, okay, okay. So I'm forming an idea for all of this. Mm. I like Scarbles' idea of us hiring a crew to come down here and check this out in the long run. Now, that will, unfortunately, mean we have to get the city involved. However, we don't have to get rid of the rats. We get, we have a druid for that. <gasps> Yay! Thank you, Task! You watch, she, like, grabs, like, five more rats and hugs them. Yeah, but how are we going to feed them all? I mean, Guard. like, we can, we can figure that out. They've been doing okay out. for themselves so far. By stealing food... From right, Ty but Ty food. Right, right, yeah. but Ty, Ty, Ty. I like just grab my shake up gently. Like, Ty, Ty, <laughs> my shoulders Ty, sore. Ty, 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 <laughs> Ty. That is my name. Yes. I, I like put my fucking finger on his fishy lips shh, for a hot uh, second. Uh -huh. For a hot second, Ty. Okay, the second is very hot. I turn back to everyone else. We have a druid. We have, and now that we know that this is happening, we can also get the means to actually feed them all. And I don't see a bad scenario out of this. And then whatever our mercenary crew finds, we keep a cut of. Well, as long as we can keep everything in accordance, then I guess that's not a problem. Tess, can you take your finger off me, though? It's it's been off, Mr. Oh, Warbington. That so, sounds like a good yeah. idea. If this place is big, this might be a good place to go in case of an emergency. That's where my brain went anyway. After that last dragon attack, I mean, or yikes. it might, or it might be a cause of emergency. We got to be careful about that. Well, that's why you send in some other people to deal with it. And if they die, then uh oh. Uh, to be fair, that's typically what you hire mercenaries for. So if that's going to be oh. what we do, then let's get mm. dangerous. And by that, I mean hire some mercenaries. Mm. About had how much debris is in the way of this door? So. A lot. This is this is like the rats have some work to do. Um, is it, it like this, loose stone or is it just a bunch like a big wall of solid dirt? It is a mixture of both. So it is both like solid dirt, solid stone, um, cave-in. It's 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 pretty. Big. And you don't even know if like behind the door there's not more cave-in. Honestly, hmm. Mr. Warpington. Thanks for ah! broke his chin a little bit. I wonder. Oh, we'll, we'll, we'll ebb on, though, I wonder, in a second. Mr. Borpington, do you have anything of equivalent 
like weight or value in food that we can give the rats in comparison to get your hand back? I could get some nuts and things and mm. bugs, I'm sure. If, if only my cheesery was open, this would be so much easier. Should have done it sooner. This is All just right. a sign. It's a sign, Task. It really is. Well, here's how I see it. Either we find an equal amount of food to give them for right now. We get the city in on this. We get we get Anj to take care of the rats. And we start funding an actual, you know... We start funding an actual, like, amount of food that go to the rats, considering that we have swarms of rats, and as someone from the Underdark, that's a really fucking huge boon in some way. And also we have two giant, big, dire rats. That's protection in some way for this place, or at least interference. They could keep the place nice and clean. You'd be surprised how clean rats are. Yeah, rats I are would. really clean, right? How clean DMs are they, yes, they are extremely clean. I picked Pretty one up. Clean. Well, pick one, one up. It's soft. <clears throat> one thing, Scarbles, we got to make sure that this is completely reinforced. I mean, this is fine and all, but if we're going to really get excavating, we got to be careful. Tell you what. We'll excavate around it, and we'll leave a rock in front of it so it can't be opened. And once the big rock is opened, you call in your mercenaries, and they remove the big rock and go in, they fight whatever's inside. There's something inside to if fight. there's anything inside. I mean, if there is, I mean, there's still going to be probably be hazards. It's a abandoned place. And darklings are are, are sorts of fey, so who knows what's behind that door? Mm. Uh, maybe, 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 maybe the fey left the door, and it's just a big bathroom in there. He came out, locked it, forget it, forgot his keys in there, realized there was no escape, and died. Tad, how do you get down there? That's the magic part of Fey. Task is absentmindedly like petting the rat and then just pockets it. <laughs> okay, pot. You have a rat in your pocket now. Yes, good. Yeah, I guess I won't do my idea. What was the idea? Mm, I could probably, maybe, excavate this all right now. Can you now? Maybe, maybe. I don't know if it works that way, but probably not. Do you want to lay the plan on the table? Mm, it's a spell I have. It came to me in my sleep. Uh-huh. Uh, sort of... It has been teaching me things, and... Uh, I think one of them might work. Right, but what is it? Well, I can lift things with my mind. Yeah, yeah it would work if these were solid single rocks, but a lot of this is like... That's why I yeah. was thinking it, worked, it wasn't going to work. Unfortunately, yeah. It's a good idea, but for this it will not work, unfortunately. Yeah, one of the things he taught me might have worked, but I don't think it works that way, really. Mm, I could probably get the doors open. I've got two like words. I, I've, I've got two words for your panic. Mm. Tally kinesis. How do you know that? How do you know that? Jesus, how do I know that? <laughs> you found out with Willow. She talks about stuff like that. Yeah, Willow said that's like a, it's like it's like the thing where someone could like, like put a finger to their head and pull their hand out, and then things float. Well, that's, it's a bit more complicated than that, but <laughs> yes, essentially, that's what it is. You watch as one of the rats walks up and hands Ty his hand. There is a sizable, like, bite mark, like a cartoonish bite mark out of oh, one no. of it. Ty is just, like, bitterly puts the ham into his jacket and just, like, is, like, narrow-eyed and kind of... Well, you you can cut around it. That is... That, sorry, that's Scarbles. That is true! Well... I'm gonna, I'm gonna call you Dwayne Reed, and only people from the East Coast are gonna get that fucking reference, so... That's, wow. that's, that, yo, Bosco, fuck yeah. I I'm not from, I'm not from the East Coast, read. but I know enough of you schmucks. Yes. Well, I'll keep you guys posted on this and let you know. Well, I guess that solves the case of the missing Ty Borpington and Ham. Hmm. Guess we'll I... go back up. By the way, I made your hole bigger. Oh, Thanks. Yeah, about that. We're going to have to put, like, a door or something on that. That is in the middle of the kitchen. 
we'll mm. get like a get like a hatch or something. We'll you know to... what? How about like we put a hole in it and we tie a rope and like and like a knot and then when you pull on the rope, the thing opens up. Well, I mean, where the hatch is. If you can I finagle think... it. I, I guess I gotta give context for what I said because people are now like DMing me on Twitter and shit. Mm. Like, uh, Dwayne Reed is the name of a street. And it is also subsequently the name of a very common pharmacy in all of New York City. Oh, interesting. I see. I don't know the street. I only know the mm -hmm. pharmacy. Well, that that's where the name came because the first uh, store that ever opened was on Dwayne and Reed. That makes sense. So there you go. New York history. There you go. Oh, I got New York shocked. You guys are getting tired at this point. You got too. Apple like shocked, a, son. Yeah. It is, it is late at night at this point. Let's I'm go. Bed. I'm gonna think I'm gonna to bed though. For the sake of this, you guys have unlocked a side quest for a mercenary hiree, so that's fair. Yeah. Yeah. But I wanted you to be aware of it because this is something that you know, obviously is close by to your your. Uh, right, right, yeah. So, right, right, yeah. Right underneath the you know, right underneath us, yeah. Yep. All right. So you guys make your way up, uh, eventually back to the tavern. As you walk out of the kitchen, Helga turns and goes, "What happens?" And she looks at you and goes, blinks once and goes, actually, never mind. I do not care. And she goes it back. It involves rats. She just like looks at <laughs> Scarble's stuff. We got it taken care of. Mm, understood. Ugh, God. Well, oh, you know, I God, think it's been I'm long going day. to. Uh, how, how long has it been since we uh, entered the tunnel? Uh, at this point, like, you guys entered, like, probably at, like, I'm gonna say, like, 8 or 9 p.m., and at this point, like, after going up and down, it's, like, 11, 12 p.m. Yeah. Uh, Un unseen Servant is long since passed, then. Oh, yeah, it's gone. On, Dwayne, uh, guys, I'm gonna go hit the, I'm gonna go hit the bathhouse before I hit bed. If y'all don't yeah. mind, I'm, I'm actually gonna go do a thing for about an hour or so, so you all go ahead. I think. Okay. Uh, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's nothing Ins big. Can I can I incite him? <laughs> Only if he allows for it. Uh, yeah, yeah. Let's let's make this fun. Let's let's conflict. <laughs> let's make this fun. Twelve. Don't don't do it to me. Don't be gentle. Fuck. You're tired, <laughs> Remy. You need to go home and sleep. Well, if you say so. I don't like you, bird brain, but I'll do it. I'll go home. <laughs> Um, honestly, Imani, is is the fire still going or is that out by now? Like, the, uh, no, the, the fire's fire. still going. The fire is usually put out at like 3 a.m. So Tavern's open until early in the morning. So for about the next hour, he's going to go and just uh, get relatively close to the fire and just kind of meditate in front of it. Okay. And that's it. If nothing comes of it, that's fine. Nothing happens, no. Cool. Uh, you right. head upstairs and you head to bed? Yeah. You have the mask, uh, right? Yeah, I was actually going to put that on before bed. Okay. You guys all head to sleep. You guys get your health back, your spell slots back. Cool. Woohoo! Sweet. Crackles. Oh, oh good. shit! Oh, oh good. Yeah. Oh, good. You have a nightmare. You're walking on a pearlescent ground that is flat and almost endless like a desert of stone. And you feel exhilarated, you feel jubilant, you feel happy. And you're just walking along and there are crystal trees and clouds of gold and all these beautiful sights. You feel at home. You feel at peace. And then suddenly something is wrong. Like in a moment where you spend time with friends eating food, you take one bite too much and you feel sick. And it doesn't coalesce in one spot. It starts in one place 
and then spreads throughout you. Underneath your lung, there's this aching pain, and you almost feel as hands crawl up and into your lungs and just squeeze and clench down. Each bone in your body aches as it runs through up to your neck. Your neck feels as if there's a hand around it, squeezing at your trachea. The feeling spreads to your eyes, and the sights you've seen disappears from view. You begin to drown in air that is all around you. And you wake up the next morning. <gasps> you are going to take damage. You take 16 points of necrotic damage. Damn! Oh. And you feel sickly. You have a point of exhaustion. Gotcha. Christ alive. I can't. I can't believe Greg. I can't believe Greckles is dead. I fuck. For fuck's sake. <laughs> um, is there a exhaustion point thing on the character sheet? Uh, there is not. Uh, you, you just have to mark it somewhere. You have the exhaustion yeah. state. So, uh, essentially, what this means for flaws. you. I gotta find it here. Yeah, just so I know. Enjoy your... You have disadvantage on ability yep. checks now for this day. Got it. Cool. You, when you wake up, you do not feel well. There's this strange feeling where each, like, you feel as if every single feather in your body at, at any point is just going to be yanked out. You can't seem to shake it. Um, I assume there'd be a mirror in the room. I'd want to go double check to, to see if there's anything physically wrong. Okay. Uh, as you go and you look in the mirror, you look very exhausted. Um, obviously, um, your feathers are all drooped. Um, yeah, you don't feel good. You. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's not just, like, physically, it's, like, in your head, there's this, like, strange anxiety in your head um, that can't seem to leave you, and it doesn't... It doesn't seem self-inflicted. So not a normal nightmare, then? <laughs> no, not at all. Interesting. Okay, you well... experienced a magic nightmare. Yeah, yeah for you, real. You, you didn't have a nightmare, you had a frightmare. I guess... Greckle's just gonna kind of like paw at the door handle, try to grab it, and then open just. Porky's leaving his room at that time. Oh, good morning, Greckle. Uh, it's time to get Oki, time to get Porky. Not right. Porky slaps him on the back. And he falls down. Oh and my he, god! And Family Guy falls get, over. And he doesn't get back up. Oh my god, Greg. Oh, oh god, I've killed him. Oh, Jesus. Borky just kind of pushes him back into his room. The foot. <laughs> Awkwardly tries to shut the door, but a leg is sticking Hush, out. Hush, little birdie, don't say a word. <laughs> punk, 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 punk. Oh, shit. This is like literally Borky's version of Peter Griffin and the dead frog, okay? That's what's happening. Hey, hey, <laughs> hey, 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 Borky. <laughs> He's not getting up. Oh and shit, he's, he's not, actually he's, hurt. And he's not moving. I good. Worky picks up crackles. Like he kinda of like 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 arms under the knees and hi! Right. Okay, Greckos, 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 yes. are you there? Uh, Look at me. Uh, Look at me. Uh, Look at me. Uh, hey. Hey. Oh, quiet, quieter, 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 quieter. He looks wakey, fucked, like Boy, wakey, wakey, eggs and bakey there, Greckles. Oh, Worky. Please Borky. not today. Borky, what know. the fuck is happening? Oh my god, what's wrong with him? I don't know. I woke I don't know. He fell over. Hey, 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 Task. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Liza's mask tumbles out of his hands. <laughs> oh, Christ. Well, I'm casting uh, Cure Wounds at fourth level. I mean, I'm sorry, at, at second level. <laughs> fourth. Jesus I have Christ. four number four. I have four number fours on my screen. That is why that mistake. That's a lot of fours, dude. Freckles, you explode. <laughs> That'd All be the right, second so. Kenko I'd kill this week. 
Good. Shit. Fuck. It was a kanku. You got a taste of blood yeah. in your mouth. Ah, oh, uh -huh. shit. We're fucked, Gaijin. They were a magpie. They're cute. I mean, I'm not going anywhere, so you hit. <laughs> All right. So, well, I, it, listen. I, 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 apparently, I piss a lot of people off for the fact that it rolls like that. But you oh, know what? Fine. At this point, I don't fucking care. It's fine. <laughs> All right. So six, seven. You have eight, uh, nine. So you have seventeen HP back. I'm, I'm three away from full, but I still feel like shit. Uh, oh, I. Uh, okay, okay. Don't put you down. Just if you could just put me in the bed. Okay, okay, so my bed, your bed, tasks, or... I'm, I'm, going, I'm going to okay, find... I, I, fi I figured, I'm just asking. <laughs> I'm going I'm going downstairs to find someone with way more medical expertise. Okay, okay. so I'm going to sit you down here. Uh, the, person, the best person to talk to would be the person who is your in-state cleric. Yep, 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 let's get him. All right, you headed to the Temple of Oriara... And you see Log there currently pouring oh, out. Fuck. How the uh, fuck? No! One, shut one up! How the, the fuck? <laughs> you know you... what? It's fine. Task. I'm not. I'm not even gonna fucking question how you got back here. Log, we have problems. I need you to come with me. <gasps> he kind of like waddles up to you. Are you having? He kind of looks side to side. Relationship problems. <laughs> Okay, I can teach you what to do. <laughs> what in the ever loving God's name can you teach me about relationships? Well, the God's name is Oriara, and I can teach you a I lot. pick him up as he's talking and bring him inside. I'm being held. <laughs> Just underhand him? <laughs> yeah, underhand, <laughs> underhand pick up uh, upside down and bring it with me. <laughs> I've been right. accosted. All right, All right. Borky's tucking. Borky's up? carefully tucked Greckles in. By the way, <laughs> like just I, Greckles, uh, Greckles is tucked into bed. Okay, I, you're very secure now. Are you okay? Do you need anything else? I could Wait, probably oh. I could probably use some water, but I think I'm going to be okay. Okay, okay. Borky starts pouring water on your head, just lightly <laughs> on your forehead. He's just helping. He actually just opens his beak and starts drinking it. Yeah, like just yeah. wide beak. Oh, oh shit! Yeah, that's right. You're a, you're a thirsty, you're a thirsty bird. Porky, are you hey smart? guys, what's going <laughs> on? Uh huh. You feel like as you kind of lie down and you really start to like like consider what you're feeling. At first, you're just like, oh, I feel sick, and now you're like, I feel numb. Oh fuck, guys, I I I, I don't I can't feel anything. Oh Before, sorry, it's, you're, you're too tight in there. Sorry, like, Borky starts undoing what's the tucking. What's going on? Is, is <laughs> Greckle sick? Is... No, it, well, it's, it's it's the craziest thing. He left his room, tripped, and now he hasn't been feeling well. I, uh, <laughs> you mean that part where you dropped me down and then no, kicked me in here? No, that's that's the illness talking, Greckle. That's the illness talking. Borky, we don't even <laughs> know. Uh -huh. All right, look, listen. I'm gonna listen. I'm gonna spend uh I'm gonna spend uh ten minutes to cast detect magic. Okay. Uh, well, you cast detect again. magic. You don't detect any magic. It's it's the weirdest thing. I I was in a great place. It felt like ivory stone and crystal trees and gold clouds. It was great, but all of a sudden it felt like there were hands crawling in me. They're just grasping at my organs, grasping at my throat. Everything just was horrid. And then I woke up and I felt like every single one of my feathers was just going to get ripped off. I, I can't mm. explain it. Did you get all that log? As I, pu I walk in through the door. Oh, uh, no. Did you use the mask last night? I did. If. Any insights on this at all? Dust drifting directionless divine. Eh, that's what I thought. Hey, Ayos, anything? I, 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 I am not sure, unfortunately. Mm. Gripples, do you know anything? Porky holds Gripples up to his ear. Oh, God. Yeah. <laughs> Gripples got nothing either. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. Log, like, like a toddler, crawls into your bed, Greckles, and pulls out a... What would probably be a stethoscope if it wasn't made out of probably glue and garbage. 
Great. <laughs> I Great. diagnose you with bird. Do you have a next of kin? <laughs> okay. uh, Wait, Log, is he dying? I don't know. He just looks like he needs some good sleep. Maybe a chocolate milk. You know, some soup would actually be really good. That's What's not chocolate, chocolate milk. What's chocolate I milk? Will... Grickles will, just uh... gra just just slowly, slowly grabs Log by the shoulder, slowly closing his his talons into him and pulls him so very close. I'm lactose intolerant log. Why don't you have toes? <laughs> just slowly Why? releases him and puts his he's, hands to his side. He's like Borky, but small and metal. He watches log goes uh. over to the foot of the bed and lifts up and goes, You're a liar, you have toes. Are you having trouble tolerating them? I'm gonna ritual I'm... cast Unseen Servant to get Greckle some soup. <laughs> okay. Soup? Okay. You get Greckle some soup. Is there anything you needed done for the day that we can do in your stead? Oh, Task, I needed to do everything today. He grabs his head. You hey. want me to make you feel better? I I would love that, Log, if you could do that. Okay. Uh, Log, I gotta look at the cleric's, cleric spell list and see what he's gonna cast. Inflict, oh. inflict uh, level pain. five cure <laughs> wounds. Level, level, seven. level seven. inflict wounds. <laughs> inflict, inflict chalky milk. Level seven. <laughs> uh, I cast toe tolerance at level six. I cast C I cast seven hundred cc's of chalky milk. He just dies. <laughs> uh, Borky, uh, Bo uh, Borky, I'm gonna need you to get the lacta tank. Just the okay. fucking bring just the flat the line noise. Power um, word bird. So. Of all the spells, um... Let's hear uh, it. Let's hear yeah. it, buddy. Vanish. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> Just to make sure this is legit, real fast. Is this a real spell? This is a real fucking spell? Yeah, he's gonna cast Regenerate on you. Oh, oh. shit. Ooh. What? So, yeah, you touch a creature and stimulate its natural healing ability. The target regains 4d8 plus 15 hit points. For the duration of the spell, the target regains one hit point at the start of each of its turns. Ten hit points each minute. The target severed body members, <laughs> fingers, legs, tails, and so on, if any, are restored after two minutes. If you have the severed part and hold it to the stump, the spell instantaneously causes a limb can to I, to the stump. Get I the flowers! <laughs> <laughs> so... Um, you feel way better, Greckles. There's still mm -hmm. this emotional weight to it. Uh, mm -hmm. by the way, this spell lasts an hour, so you're gonna get hit points back. Sh Jesus! For okay. an hour. Just... That's the good news. Yeah. The bad That's... news is, um, you may have regrown some old tokens from a druid way back at the beginning of the game. <laughs> as a result of this. That's some strong-ass magic. I did it! Oh! Oh wow! wow. Things again. Now you can't hide from your toes. I had completely forgotten about that. Task yeah, holds a I chuckle. It like just like. <clears throat> foot. Wow, that is really. I'm so, I, sorry, uh, what? Borky, Borky just grabs it and rips it off. Uh, <laughs> he's wearing clothes. You have no idea. But oh, we but, don't. Damn it, Greckles, you feel a <laughs> in both spots. <laughs> I immediate I immediately grab whatever sharp weapon I've got near my bed. I don't cut them out of me, but I cut like the, yeah, the, you cut the, the off by the stem. I cut the tops off and I just throw them to the ground and uh for contents for new blood back in the original first arc, a druid curse grip uh Greckles to have flower nipples as part hey, of Hey, 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 maybe she shouldn't have been sneaking around on us without telling us who she was. She's a she's a homebody, you can't believe uh -huh, it. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Uh -huh. Excuse Watch our show! Grecos. <laughs> Grecos. Grecos. What, Borky? What other plants you growing under there? <laughs> you know, if I if I Why ever with you guys in innuendos today, like Jesus I just I don't I don't know. It's just I don't we're all I mean I I'm walking into them. <sighs> Greco slowly just gets out of bed and he just kind of pushes everyone aside and he's really not happy. I just I have work to do. And he, he just he just walks out. Don't push mm. yourself for the You're love welcome. of God. You're welcome. Thank you, Log. 
Okay, thank you. You watch as long as immediately like <laughs> way more happier that you said thank yeah. you. Hey, Log. Hi. Do you have any diamond dust? Uh, nope. Fine. <laughs> Dern. Dern indeed. I grab Log and I I I, I underhand him again. And I bring him outside. Away Why do you from carry me else. so? Shh, shut up. I have I something have to ask you. I accept <laughs> my legs. I, I, I turn the corner where everyone no one else is. I like just like hit the wall and I look at Log. Hi. I can't tell with you anymore, but did Ori did Oriara actually say something about me in winter? He kinda cocks his head and goes, What would that be? Okay, I, I'm not sure if I can take this as a no or not. Maybe you should talk to Auntie. Who? Auntie. Uh, wait, I'm, I'm, Monty, I'm really fucking lost. Do I know what that is? Yeah, I mean, I would be lost too if I were you. <laughs> who, I, who is, who is what? Ariara's mom. Oh! Live Robin. Um, how do I do this? And you, you didn't think this was pertinent information to say? Well, I don't know about pub puberty information, but you could go to a temple of Lavrosia and talk about your troubles. I planned on going to a temple, but not Lavrosia, but that might be something in the future. I pat him on the head. Go ahead, go <laughs> somewhere else. You're touching me. Stop. Go somewhere else. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of innuendo today. Oh, hey, Log, Log's arm turns into a cannon. Stop! <laughs> pulls out a, pulls out you a have fucking a, block. You have three seconds to comply. comply. <laughs> you watch as Log like goes three steps down the stairs and then it falls down the remaining and then gets, gets back up and runs <laughs> back towards the temple. What a scamp. Did, w w did I successfully get soup, or was that just kind of... Yeah, you ate. You guys had okay. something to eat, I'm assuming. All right, uh, guys, so big, big day today for me. I believe I'm going to be going having a meeting with a certain dwarf about a possible area to place down my business. Which, hmm. after much contemplation, I have zeroed in on a much better name. And that is? Cheese your mind. Right. Well, my my uh, my uh, day was going to be visit Winter at least once, and then head over to the head over to the Dragon Temple and at least enlighten them about what's happened. You uh, hear a voice you in your mind. Task. It 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 is not my choice to make. But but but, do you honestly think that anyone who wasn't there is going to believe you? I was hoping that at least telling Athena not everything, but at least the good news that the dragon cultists are dead would be nice. Oh, 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 only some of them are dead. Not all. But, but, but if you want to prematurely celebrate, that, 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 that's fine with me. Fuck. Damn. Motherfucker. All right, fine. Then I guess I'm just going to see Winter and that's my day. No need for the outburst attacks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, literally, literally, out loud. Yeah, it's like a Piccolo scenario from fucking Dragon Ball Z Abridged, where you're just like, I'm fine, <laughs> fuck it! <laughs> Jeez. Are you nervous? You say you know, you're nervous to go see Gwenta? I mean... No, not at all. Okay, confidence, it's sexy. So best of luck to you. Is there anything else we have means of doing today? Oh, I'm worried. I'm probably going to well, worry about Greckles all day. We do have every man we could mm. worry about. Mm. I mean, you you have every man. I mean, I mean, the leather wasn't specifically for me. It kind of involved all of us. All right. Well. I, I could go see what they want and then report back. You think you should take will someone you, with you? Will you will you at least grant me a few moments with Winter and then I'll join you? I mean, yeah. I'm not gonna force you down there 
All right, well, I got nothing else better to do at the end of the day, so wait for me here and I'll join you. Okay. Before that, Panic, would you like to be someone who helps out with the placement of my cheesery? You said you were putting it in Tricadia, right? Nope. Nope. That land is a, that land is godless and will burn to the ground. <laughs> wow! The whole wow. city! Chelka's <laughs> painting a glass and she goes, I have heard it is actually very nice there. Propaganda! Just that. propaganda! You know, I used to live there, right? I know, and you it's left. Bad. Why have you been so great? Why don't you move back? Oh boy! Gotcha. Because <laughs> I I live here and I have a business here, Borky, and I have a life I know. here. Uh, I know. Brace me off. I'm gonna go see me a dwarf. <laughs> we'll see Adric, and we'll just see what happens next. Okay, so Borky is going to see Adric. Um, panic. Where are you going? Uh, fuck. Mm, well, first off, I think I'm going to uh, cast. Uh, I'm going to use the orb of sending to uh, message my mother. Okay. What do you say to her? Uh. Hey, mom. Checking in. Been. Crazy busy. Lots of stuff happened. Went on an adventure. Killed dragons. Freed people. Hero stuff. How are you? Doing well? Dad okay? Even in Tricadia yet? That's it. That's all I got. Okay. Uh, you get a response back. Hero stuff indeed, she says back. <laughs> On a shitty boat, but making my way there. Have many words for your father. <sighs> Don't kill him, Mom. Love you lots. Please be safe. We all should meet up at some point. All of us. I agree. I agree, Mama. For now, hero stuff. <sighs> Is this what it's like? Hmm. I could get used to this. Hmm. What else do I do with my day? Um, I'm gonna... I'm gonna trail Greckles. Okay. You want to, like, stealthily trail Greco? <laughs> Overt or covert? Yeah. Overt? All right. Sounds good. All right. Uh, Remy, what are you doing? Uh, mm -hmm. That really depends on what I heard and what I saw. I mean, if if, if you're going to be if you're gonna be at the Sweet Dragon um, when we're kind of getting up, you'll probably run into Greco's on the way to do things. Well, that's what I'm asking Monty, if I show up before or after you're gone. Because if you're gone, I'm going to do one thing. Well, if you're I'm there, not, I'm, I'm going to do a different thing. I'm not leaving the premises. I'll just put oh. it that way. And I, and I give permission that if you were one to tag along with Tass, that was okay. I was going to say, Remy would go visit Winter unless he knew Greco was upset, in which case he would stay put. So that's I mean, Monty. That's Monty's call if he heard or saw anything that would give him that indication. Uh -huh. I, I hate to be, uh, like, bad, but, I mean, there's nothing really up for Winter. I mean, she's just recovering. There's well, I'm, no, I meant no this change. was just fluff. I'm, I meant this for yeah, fluff. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. You guys visit her, but I don't think there's any roleplay opportunity because she's literally just going to be sleeping oh. when you guys Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. Well, I just... Yeah. I, okay, Monty, for future reference, then, I'm just going to say, like, whenever Task has free time in, like, the day, he's just yeah, going yeah, to yeah. visit her. Yes, yeah, like, and Remy would make sure that her griffin is taken care of and pop in and say, hey, are you doing okay? Okay, bye. Essentially, yeah. yeah, I figure yeah, that's it, what it is, okay. but I just like I feel yeah. bad because I'm like, there's nothing that'll develop. No, 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 and, well, and literally, that, that she's literally amount. in bed, like eating flowers and sleeping. That's let us be good flowers. friends and boyfriends and brothers to her. Fair enough, yeah, pretty fucking will, much. Come on, <laughs> I will, I will say this, Remy. Uh, on yeah. your way to the sweet dragon, you run into Bonray and Clyde. Um, uh, oh, no. Bonray is like, 
I can't believe you, you son of a bitch. You're replacing me. I can't believe it. I really can't. I'm not. Me, I'm, you're bon not. Bon Ray, after all the. Shut up, shut your beak. After all the progress yeah. I've made, you'd replace me with another kobold. Can't believe it. I thought you would be better, man, Remy, but that's the way it is, I guess, huh? So, f first of all, Winter was here first. Second of all, she could fly circles around you. And third, if you're what? making me pick, then yes. Christ. Yikes. And, and third, Damn. if you're making me pick, then yes, I would pick Winter because I've fought with Winter and uh, she is quite talented. And uh, you actually could learn a thing or two from her if you would shut your mouth. You hear a visible crack in the air around you, and Clyde goes over like, I think, did you just burst a blood vessel? Shut up, Clyde, let's go! And you watch as she flies away off of on the <laughs> Oh, Bar Remy, nice to see you again. Oh, it's good to see you as well. It's getting a little chilly out, and winter must be coming. <laughs> I don't understand. Huh? Why? He flies uh, away. Do, it was a joke. Oh, I. Oh. You really okay. honestly don't believe that that was a little too cold, Remy? Oh, no, she can handle it. I just squint at him. Okay. <laughs> Alrighty. Then... Uh, one quick thing before we move on. Uh, did, did did Fluffy ever tell me what he needed for the enchantment for Face Lacer? Uh, he's trying to figure it out still. Um, he's been working on it, um, but he's obviously been working on some other stuff as well. Um, it seems like he's going to need a very specific enchanted metal, but it's not 100% what he's going to need yet. This is definitely outside of his wheelhouse. He doesn't work on magical items. So he's been working with Willow and um, Enceladus to figure out what exactly you're going to need. Um, okay. But whatever it is, it's not going to be easy to get. So he's kind of warned you with that. Anything you're going to need to get is going to be hard to procure. But Fair enough. Well. He's putting the work in that is definitely not his expertise at all he is more just general stuff all right trailing greckles it is then all right remy is also gonna go find greckles now that he can finally he handled one mm. problem by the so way i, um, I hmm? bodied that guy what the fuck boss? Yeah, look I'm man good. look bon ray's got a personality <laughs> Look, Remy, Remy is more than happy to trade friendly barbs. You fucking roasted her! Look, it was it was about a hundred episodes coming. Okay. Send a message. <laughs> she did steal our shit. That is true. She did steal your guys' shit. But I was gonna come back and be like, I didn't realize you were so attractive until you roasted me like that. Can we talk? It's like, no! What? No! <laughs> Task is oh, that was kind of hot, actually. actually. You, you <laughs> fucking... You, you listen here. You know what? Okay, I, I admit it. That was, um... That was something. You assume... You presume so much of my characters. You I presume do. nothing <laughs> about your characters. Man, Task is here trying to be, like, a halfway decent person now that his life has turned around, and here's fucking Bosco shutting down shade on a poor person. I get a poor person! He gets one! He's the criminal! <laughs> So, Greckles, where are you going? All right. So, uh, I mean, I got a list, girl. Uh, first things pick, first, pick, going, pick, to, going to pick, Enceladus. Pick, I'm pick, going to pick Enceladus. one. I'm going to Enceladus. Okay. You head upstairs to the library, uh, and you head inside. You see uh, Mudron, and you see Enceladus currently working, and uh, there's just a stack of books, and you watch this, and it goes, oh, uh, hello. Oh, Enceladus. I'm so glad to see you. <laughs> it's good to see you too. It's been some time. I've heard you've been quite busy. Um, Mudron, you mind just filing books five through seven on the shelf for me? Thank you. You watch as he sets up. Um, how may I help you? And so this, I need you to get as much research done about a group called the Alkalites of the Phoenix. Alkalites of the Phoenix. Um, I mean, specific. I mean, skimp on nothing. Every last detail, I need it. I would have to expand past my, my, my regular kind of ways around my regular library. Um, <clears throat> ah, pardon me. Um, Acolytes of the Phoenix, Acolytes of the Phoenix. Would this be in connection with something? Because it kind of is just a vague name this that I'm is not personally aware of. So Cross-reference cross Eastern Isles and Ganassi. Oh, Ganassi. Uh, primordial Sphere. Okay, yes, I could look into that. I appreciate um, it. Of course, certainly. It might take me a couple days to procure books, but I could probably get a stack for you. Um, there is a population of Ganassi in the Alabaster. It is rather not that many. 
I could look into it. If you could let me know where I might be able to find them, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, if you Ganassi need Ganassi any... your books, because books can be found in a library, and Ganassi can probably be found... I don't know, actually. I don't know where you'd find them. Well, that's that's absolutely fair. Uh, as a side note, if you need any books bought, please let me know. Oh, he kind of waves his hand. I have many friends who would be willing to lend us some books, and as long as we treat them well, then we're fine. That's good news, then. Excellent. Um... I suppose that's all I have. Just let me know ASAP when you find something. Oh, also tell uh, Mr. Borky uh, that I am very thankful for his, his efforts. I My research into the native orc tribes of Alabaz has been going amazingly. I'm about to publish my first paper on the dynamic sort of inter um, meteorary kind of like how they meet with each other and, and sort of the, the group dynamic. Um, sorry, I'll bore you off. But uh, needless to say, uh, just give him a, a very polite thank you. Oh, well, you're going to want to thank him for more than that because you may have a brand new subspecies of orc to listen to, to research. He just kind of chuckles. Uh, what? He kind of cocks his head a little confused. Let's, let's just say you might find an interesting hybrid of orc and construct in the not too distant future as he just kind of saw, as he just kind of walks out. It'll be my turn to um, note down the history then. <laughs> Appreciate it. He just kind of waves and just keeps going forward. All right. Panic, roll a stealth check. Remy, roll a stealth check as Greco comes down the stairs. I am casting greater invisibility on myself. Okay. Goblin. Also, Remy's not trying to hide. So did the cat, apparently. <laughs> oh, shit. Helga <laughs> does have cats. That is something that is canonical. Yes, well, then yes. That's, a, that's, that's cute. <laughs> Fuck yes. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god! So, so that's a 17, advantage. right? Because I'm, I'm invisible? Yeah. yeah, when you're invisible, you have advantage, I believe. Oh, oh. oh you lucky bastard. Are you oh. in your armor? An invisible creature is impossible to see without the aid of magic or a special sense. For the purpose of hiding, the creature is heavily obscured. The creature's location can be detected by any noise it makes or any tracks it leaves. So actually, that is untrue. You did roll a natural one. You ah! rolled a one. How did you get seen being invisible? It's probably it's probably a it's probably a sound. I'm just I'm like standing in front of a un, in front of a god beam, and I, I my silhouette is clearly visible. I I, I, I want to think that Greckles just kind of runs into you. <laughs> That'd be funny, actually. <laughs> oh, what what? Oh, ow! Fuck! Wait wait! Oh, he, he pulls out his weapons. All right, who's there? It's me, Greckles. It's me. Oh. I drop invisibility. Oh, Panic, why did you do that? I was testing out a new spell. It's crazy. It's called In Mislead. Um, he just 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 slowly narrows his eyes. What? Can I can I help you with anything? He's fucking haggard too. Both you see it. I, could help, I was wondering if I could help you with anything. You're fucking Yeah. <sighs> well, I, just, I just gesture at him. <laughs> I <sighs> I've got a lot of work to do. I guess I could use your help with it if, if it's possible. Sure. You know what, Panic? I hate to ask. Would it put Helena in jeopardy if I was to ask her about things involving the United Clergy? Mm. If the answer is yes, it's fine. I... She's under a lot of scrutiny at the moment. That's what I'm wondering. I, I understand what you're trying to get at, but I would think maybe not right now. That's that's it, that's fine. I'm just trying to exercise all my options here. He just he just mm -hmm. runs he just runs his talent behind his head, scratching. He's just so much going on in his head. I've got a lot of letters I need to write if I can even reach them. Uh Aside from that, I've got Enceladus looking into the Alkalites of the Phoenix. I don't know if there's anything you guys could do to help with that. Uh, Phoenix. If only Hasrod was here. If only. You don't know where you... Yeah. What's up, Remy? Uh, is everything all right? You look like you've seen a ghost, for lack of a better term. Uh, I experienced my own death in a dream. At least it felt like that, so... No, there's there's an unnatural creeping dread in me right now. What happened? I went to bed with Liza's mask, which 
may not have been the best idea. You see his head instantly sag since it was his suggestion. I I was in a, a beautiful place. It kind of reminded me of home. It felt like a home. And then all of a sudden, like someone punched me in the gut or someone had slipped me poison. I felt a pain spreading across my body, hands grasping my organs, crushing the very air out of me. I woke up and I, I felt like I was going to be torn to pieces. And it hurt. I mean, Log and Task did what they could, but yeah, it only went so far. Hmm. I think you might be in the need of a greater restoration if that ever happens again. Or I could, maybe I could just try to procure more... some. I could try to procure some diamond dust in the future. We might have need of its other uses in the future, and well, I can cast it. Well, that's probably something that a good night's rest could cure, but I've got too much going on. I also need to send out letters to the Aegean Five. If the Alkalites of the Phoenix are associated with the Eastern House, they may have some kind of lead on where we might be able to find them. Are you sure you're going to get any information out of the Eastern Isles? Remy, I've got no idea. I, I, I don't know. I've got so much that I've... There's the vision, and then there's the United Clergy possibly coming back, possibly to take away one of the few very good things that happened in my life. He just starts rambling, his plumage starts poofing up a little bit. Crackles, take it easy. We're not going to be banging at the gates tomorrow. You have some time. Yeah, if we handle this one step at a time, we'll get it taken care of like we usually do. No, uh, I, I know. Panic and I can't really help you write letters, but is there anything else we can do for you? Well, I can probably help you write letters faster. I do have a couple of other projects, but I need to talk to Fluffy about that, and I just don't know how busy he is right now. Hmm. Uh, what, were you hope what were you hoping to glean from Helena? I've been taught that the greatest weapon that you can possibly have is information. We've come across a lot of different ex-members of the United Clergy, or at least now ex. Evelina, I don't even know if she's going to say very much, but there's Audrey, Hanore, Kendra, Maria... Lionel, if he's even still alive. Do we know what happened to Lionel, by the way? You have no idea. Yeah, that's what I figured. We don't even that know. That not telling us anything. I don't know. A, a couple of months in prison may change a man's opinion, but regardless. Just everything. Um, I need to ask them about any potential additional signs of clerics and paladins feeling shaky on how the United Clergy were doing things, especially using underhanded tactics. Ask about details of Della, Icarus, Viantius, Ragus Cade. Uh, what kind of people are they? Are they? How do they treat others? What are people's opinions of them? How do they fight? He just kind of keeps going and going and going and going. All right, all right. You want to create dossiers on the people that could potentially threaten Alabas. That's smart. It's very smart. Uh, I think I Tilchard might be the one to talk about that. I don't know if Pilchard would know. Pilchard splintered off a much longer time ago. Things could have changed by then. So he would know the differences between then and now, though? He might. From what he told me, he he may, were, may, have, may very well have split off shortly after Sully was born. Wouldn't surprise me. I would love to talk to Sully about this, but that's the last thing she needs right now. She's, I'm sure she's getting... still in the Underdark, I think. Uh, she might be coming back relatively soon. I don't know. Mm. But I need to talk to the Agent 5. I need to get letters out to all of the girls. I don't... D Panic, do you even know if, if we have... Uh, if we can send a letter out a letter out to Grohl or, or anyone in that camp? You have I Grohl's mean, address. Received... He's, he's, okay. Yeah. If, if you've yeah, received we... a letter for someone, you, you can send a letter to them. Gotcha. Yeah, unless it's unmarked, specifically unmarked. Greckles, mm. what about your snake informant friend? Hasrod might have something. Uh, Where is Hasrod anyway? Uh, we could probably go check him. Yeah, let's go. Let's go find him. He's probably out in his hut. And I, I guess we'll just head that way. All right, you guys, head let's back go. there. The hut is now a building. It's now a bedroom. Oh That's my! Really nice. Yeah. Just, oh. just. As you guys open up the door, you he you watch as like a big uh, Burmese 
python snake just like opens the door and then it just like thunk lands on the ground in front of you and slides <laughs> back inside of the room it's oh a big snake. doesn't that hurt <laughs> talking to a snake I, uh, it just looks uh, at you hey hostrod you here hello uh, all right what's he look like now he looks fine he's wearing nice clothes <laughs> Well, you certainly got yourself better digs. I certainly did. I've been getting lots of work. Well, you may have more. Ooh, do tell. You hear something about a uh, Orn clergy spy running around the area? <laughs> That's all I'm hearing right now. This uh, dragonborn lady, he's kind of, he's like, oh, come in, come into my parlor. You see the brown is just covered in snakes. There's just snakes hanging off of like the chandeliers. Um, snakes in the bed. There's just fucking snakes everywhere. Trying not to step on them. Yeah, it's easy enough. They move out of your way. I actually got a nice little gig with somebody who's asking a lot of questions about the Orin clergy, people oh. who are friends with them, all kinds well, of fun guess. stuff like that. It was you that intercepted those messages of sending. What? What are you talking about? Never mind. Probably don't not. Give me, don't, get, don't give me the awkward human wide mouth faced look. I hate that shit. All right, look. You look, like I, you look like you're trying to swallow a bee or something. It's weird. It wasn't a human. It was a tiefling. Same thing. You're part human. All right, Hasrod. Let's get <laughs> Hasrod. Let's let's just get down to business. Always I don't. Business. I don't. I don't want to waste your time. I know it's valuable. So I'll just cut right to the chase. I want in on a cut of that information if you can find it on top of a handful of other things. How much money do you got? Oh shit, Ooh. sorry, I hit you with my forehead. I my bad. <laughs> ah, I mean <laughs> it's it's already been a rough day for crying out loud. Uh he'll lay out a hundred. Okay, I'll take it. slides it into his pocket. All right, what do you want to know? I don't even know everything, but if you if you are able to tag any spy coming here, that'd be greatly appreciated. I'm sure that's, it wouldn't be good for business for you either. That's the funny thing. It's that I don't really see there being any spies besides me, of course. But let's that's besides the point. I don't work for the fucking United Clergy, let's be fair. And I know in their history, they don't tend to utilize spies unless through a third party. So even then, finding a spy would be next to impossible, really. Um, but my voice is thrashed and I forgot water. Yeah, you're fine. <laughs> But yes, Bismati Primtash has been asking around a lot about particular Orin worshippers, premeditatedly, for the most part. Do you know who else might be targeted for Inquisition activity? Anyone who runs a temple, anyone who's an active worshipper, anyone who's had ties in the past. I'm honestly surprised that that pilchard guy's still kicking up in the high districts, but apparently people trust him, so there you go. Did they say anything about Jim Irons or even myself? Jim Irons is uh, niece was considered, but she left a long time ago, so she couldn't have had any information. And the only two biggest, most important people would be the prisoner who's no longer with us, your uh, scar-faced friend, and uh, Pilchard. What do you mean no longer with us? Oh, they shipped off Lionel to make peace with the Orin clergy to buy time because uh, your little friend there, Saliandris, is still MIA. Wait, they gave him back? That's yep. not surprising. As a sign of good faith. I guess they bought, bought time, time with him. Bingo. Of that, that could come back and bite us. He would have seen everything about the city. He'd be able to give him details. Well, he wouldn't have known everything about the city. Anyway, uh, I also need to figure out Why where they the... want him back, though. I would have coax information out of him because He's... they own him. I hate to break it to you, but that's the mentality they have. It's true. He's their property. He's also a loose end that they can now tie up if they want to. Precisely. That explains the feelings with Helena. That oh, was... I'm sure that they've tried. Uh, let's see. I could use a little bit of information on where I could find the Egen 5, although that's probably poultry compared to other things that you have going on. What the heck's an Egen and why is there five of them? I, I, what the fuck? He just shrugs at that. Have you not heard of the Egen 5 mercenary group? 
Is that an alabast? Uh, I believe it is. God, is that? And are they? In, I believe they were an alabast. Uh, they work outside of alabast, but they have, they have some business inside. But they oh. tend to be more tent town area, like independent. -y. They're not. They... They're they're sell swords. They're not anybody with any serious like political ties okay, or like connections. It's just a bunch of schmucks trying to make coin, really. They 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 come in and out of town on occasion. That's what makes it so hard to flag down. I thought maybe you might be able to flag them down or at least figure out where they meet up. Uh probably Tent Town. Most sell swords are there, but I mean to my knowledge, most people like that who have tried to escape politics tend not to generate their own so I think you might be at a bus there, buddy. That's uh, more information than I had before. There was one guy, though, I'm pretty sure. Uh, there's some seats in the council of people from the Eastern Isles, but they're more of like trade and business and that sort of thing. You have to understand the main export of Alavas is magic. So once you get into the people who are more into that, you're going to find more answers. That's fair. I guess that's all I have. Everything else only you get information from other people. Unless you somehow have understanding and tactics of the United Orden clergy. Can't say I do. They sure like to chase a bunch of idiots down through city streets. But um, I'll say this. You, <coughs> talk, you talked about loose ends. Most of the time, I think the Orden clergy just cuts their losses. Something's got them rattled. They're not so keen on that anymore. That's what's got me worried. That's got what's got more than you worried. Wait, have you heard anything else about Helena? Helena? Eh, nothing really. I mean, what are you looking for in particular? Well, they wanted, the clergy wanted Leonel back. Did they say anything about Helena? There was an inquiry, but I think the council feigned ignorance. Well, at least they're not completely at their beck and call. I think the difference is that Leonel was more inclined to go back, whereas Helena, well, let's just say this. If either Sully, Helena, or any of those other girls are sent back, that's a bit of a death sentence. Yeah. Yes, yes, it is. Uh, I think that's all I got. Hossworth, with... there's, some... there's something about this city that the Orden clergy, in particular, does not like. And I want to try to figure out exactly what it is. Is that something you can keep an ear out for? Yeah, certainly. I mean, I've heard that sort of rumor, too. They think this land is cursed or something. But that's vague enough that I can't really get a grip. And he watches, he kind of flexes his hands on that sort of idea. So I'll keep my ears peeled, but that feels like a little bit outside of my depth and maybe some religious jargon. People do if not so religious, then perhaps. Prophecies. If not religious, then perhaps magical, some kind of enchantment or resource that's here that they know about that they might well, consider I know, evil. I know that many don't understand what the attic is. That's and its whip. machinations mm -hmm. remain an illusion to almost everyone in this city, except for a select few, and they're not so keen to talk. Do you know who those people are? Hmm. Now that's an expensive ask. Uh, <clears throat> hang on. Um, what about information gonna slide... for information? Oh, there you go. What was that? What about information for information? Depends on what the information is. That is a big ask, though. That is probably the biggest question you could ask me because that or sells out quite a few people of very high standing. Greckles, mm -hmm. Task, and myself have quite extensive knowledge about the attic and its machinations. Then why are you Gre asking me about the attic and its machinations? Greckles shoots you a very dirty look. If that's the case, and the people who know will probably not know as much as you do. Hmm. Well, let's keep well, things at the matter at hand. Well, here's my answer. There's two people who I know. Well, one person I know for certain, and one person who I don't know. The okay. pigeon person has been there. Fair enough. That makes sense. And I have a strong feeling that Brooke Bronzefang has been there, too. 
God would also fit. Didn't we already know that a buff game? That we do. Yeah, yeah. we do. <laughs> I guess the only thing I can. Rourke. Sorry. Oh, it's it's fine. You go ahead. You're more relevant. I was just I was just exp I was just explaining that Rourke knows what lies is. So yeah, he would know what the attic is as well. Okay. I guess the only other two things is where do you think I might be able to find wherever the Ganassi are and any Ganassi. Yeah. What the Pe floaty genie people? I mean, kinda. They're they're basically half genie. They're like tieflings except gin. Uh, I haven't really seen that many. You might be able to find some water Ganassi at the docks, but they're just like the average person. Not a lot of them really congregate. Nah, not a lot of them are. They're mostly peasants. Well, tell you what, I guess if you can. The only thing I could think of is if you can find any information about the Alkalites of the Phoenix, which best of luck with that one. Oh boy. But I figured, I figured if someone could find information about that group, it could be you. Okay. I'll look into it for you. Slides hmm. another 40 gold. Appreciate it. Okay. One more thing. Yes, sir. Have you heard anything about a black sludgy substance? Tar? No, it's magical in nature, and it will disappear to the touch. Molasses? It's... No. A magical <laughs> substance that disappears when you try to touch it. Why don't you talk to the wizard? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> I tried. Well, Sorry, I'm more of the social type, less of the religion and uh, magic-y type. Figured I'd shoot my shot. By the way, you kind of lean, Hosra kind of leans forward and looks at you and goes, what time is it right now? <laughs> I look out, I open the door, lean out and look up. It's like, like 11 or 12 a.m. About noonish. Do you know where your children are? I don't have any children. But do you know where your children are? They're right here. Hosra just points to all the snakes on the ground. <laughs> What are, you, what are you implying? Uh, nothing really. Insight? I, question mark? I was going to say, can we <laughs> insight this? Yeah, go ahead, insight him. I know it'll be a tough roll. roll. Oh, no, that's not a chance for me. I have expertise in insights. This cannot possibly go wrong for me. 27. 16. I'm not there. Scarlet. What? I, I, I slide a platinum over to him. What do you know? <laughs> then you might not be the most important tiefling in her life anymore. Oh! oh what the oh, fuck? That, that's, that's gotta hurt. Tiango, the red dad. Did -did -did -did. Cast scrying on Scarlet. <laughs> Jesus, oh, yeah. panic is not fucking around. Good thing you microchipped her. <laughs> Holy uh, can shit! You click, can you click scrying for me? He just hit sure the thing. fucking dad button. Uh, you don't have a body part. You. <laughs> <laughs> That's what you think. <laughs> I have a look of her hair. I gave out a nail. bandana. You did get back her bandana, so she has it. But I am very familiar with her. Minus. Uh, Child, make a wisdom saving throw. 14, <laughs> which I assume is a failure. Failure, yes. <gasps> okay. You look into Scarlet. You see her sitting at that same bench that you found her with Tiango at, and she is sitting with an ice cream cone and talking to him. <gasps> with Tiango? With Tiango, yeah. Does Tiango also have an ice cream cone? Sure. Cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what does what does Tiango look like at the moment? Can I gauge looks, what his feelings is, is? He looks like Tiango. Go ahead and roll an insight. Here we go. Yeah. Yay! No. Eleven. Damn it. He's, he's hard to read, especially through a scrying spell where you can't. Where you're only getting the side of his face. I can. I can see within ten feet of the target. 
yeah, so you, you can see he's just listening and as Scarlet's just talking. Um, and Scarlet's just like talking. She's like, and they keep like, they keep saying I need to get better, but I just want to play super loud. And he's like, mm hmm. <laughs> what do you do when people try to tell you to like, you know, hold back? I bide my time and <laughs> frighten them with my power. <laughs> That's good. She licks her ice cream. Oh, oh no. Baby girl. Dad what are you putting it into Scarlet's head, you animal? <laughs> they Gee, talk, looks at the just, camera. Okay, you listen to them for 10 minutes. Scarlet's basically like telling them about um like going back and forth about like school and stuff and how she's like she's she's been dealing with some bullies, but like um you watch as they talk and like she's just like, Yeah, he told me my Bandana looks dumb. Tango's like, what did you do? I punched him in the face. Good job. Not. <laughs> He's not bullying me anymore. Mm. But I got in a lot of trouble. He just kind of rolls his eyes at that and licks his ice cream cone. And eventually the scrying fades. They're just having this idle conversation. Does he still have his tiny glasses on? No, he's not. Okay. He's not reading a book, so. Oh. Uh... I just imagine he'd be just sitting there just half interested reading the book with his glasses, feet crossed at the ankle. Oh, lordy. How is he allowed in the surface? Isn't he like a war criminal or something? I yeah. believe... Yeah. Oh, good. You guys will... Well, I mean, come on. Information's not free. Come on. I slid I just him gave a you... platinum. I slid him a platinum earlier. Okay, 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 okay. Fine, 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 fine. Fine. There's a deal between the underbelly and the Avon clergy in this city. Right, but wasn't wasn't part of that deal that they stay underground? No, 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 no. He kind of like taps your beak, like very playfully. Greckles, the deal was that we conduct our business. And the Avon clergy turns a blind eye, but in exchange, Tiango can't kill anybody on the surface. Underground is free game. On the surface, mm-mm. Mm. That makes me wonder if anyone has regularly seen Tiango. Hi, did you bring a cat in here? He turns over and you see as one of the snakes currently has just got like a cat. <laughs> what? Mew. Mew. Ahem. <clears throat> Meow. So yeah, Tiango and Avryman and literally everyone can wander around the surface as long as they're not doing crimes. Hmm. Huh. Interesting. Good to know that justice is alive and well. But it also begs the question, why do we have to go underground to talk to them unless they just want the... if they just want to take away our liability? Uh, well... They, they have the power down there. If we they fuck up, power. they kill it. Yeah, Tiango can yeah. fucking kill you down there, so it's a bit more of a threat. Yeah, that's fair. All right, well, that's all the information requesting that I need. What about you guys? Hey, Monty. Hi. It oh, I'm, I'm sorry. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll wait. Oh. <clears throat> if you hear any ramblings about dead gods, let us know. Sure. <laughs> he just like looks at you and nods. <laughs> like, all right, I'll get right on that. <laughs> Listen, I, man. I, I know that this is just gonna add more time to shit. But can Task walk in? You do it. Sure. I mean, fuck it. <laughs> this is this is your guys' time to do whatever you want to do. We can do whatever we want, buddy. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. So Task like knocks on the door. Hey, it's the Rat Man. What's up, dude? Task, what the are you moment doing you here? walk in with the rat, all the snakes immediately turn and look at you. <gasps> I pull out my knife. Get back, you savages. <laughs> <laughs> He's a rat, man. Skip up, ba up, up. Skip. Back off. This one's mine. Skip up, ba up. Yeah. They all kind of like you watch this hoss rat goes like, guys, be cool. And they all kind of back off. That'd be cool. Except for <laughs> Chill. One, one little hog nose snake in the front is just like, it's so tiny, it could possibly eat the rat. It's just like so, so intent. I, I spunk him. Does he fall over on his backside? 
Yeah, it does that snake thing where you spook it and they like kind of like accordion inwards and then like it, it like loses its balance on the table and falls off off of a so, book. Right when Hasrod said that, I was like, man, him and Nar need to start a band. He's like a smooth jazz band. He's like, mm-hmm. cool, man. You see him on the bongos or something? Well, if it isn't my favorite buddy. Uh, that's heart. That's heartwarming, uh, Hasrod, as I walk in. So, oh, oh, hello, everyone. I didn't expect you all to be here in a summed up group. Well, I had a lot of work to do, and these two decided to follow along. So here Rekha we are. was looking for information, and I remembered your snake friend here was very good at gathering it. Yeah, and that's kind of one of the other reasons why I'm here in the first place. Uh, hello? I'm not here for information, Hasrod, but I am here to uh, grant you a little bit of a proposition. I like propositions. All right, we'll sit down for this one. I'm already sitting. My arms and my legs are literally crossed. All right. T- Tass, Can you like, not we... see that I am the pinnacle of comfort right now? Tass looks around for a seat and just sits on one of the snakes. Okay, <laughs> you sit down on the Burmese, Burmese python and it just kind of looks at you. Yep. So you like power, yes? Oh, no. Eh. Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. All the snakes nodded, like, in agreement. Like, yeah, he does. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. So then you might like this idea. So we've been told that we might actually be able to get the Unexpectables, or at least the Sweet Dragon, or at least our mercenary group, to uh, have some kind of word and seat on the council, and we need a representative. You watch, you hear the, the chair that he's sitting on kind of break for a second. <laughs> He moves sword and like puts both elbows on the table and like it, like cups his face and goes, "Go on." <laughs> <laughs> hmm. I already see you have gumption for this. Oh, I have so much gum right now. <laughs> well, nice to know that you might actually seem interested in this, such a position. I was of the opinion that we ask you to represent us. Oh my gosh, just to see all those losers on those council seats squirm when they see me walk through the front doors. I did want to raise a little bit of anarchy, and I figured you'd be the perfect person for that. Oh, absolutely. I will sign on the dotted line as soon as you're ready. Hmm, excellent. So, I look to everyone else. I look to everyone else in the room. We have a leading man, at least. Look at him. Look how happy and elated he is. He's got, like, the big, doofy Spongebob smile on his sneaky face. And he's already royalty, so he'll fit right in. Indeed. That That is true, I suppose, but ugh. Hasra. Tash just folds his arms and looks at him. I mean, you can flaunt that. I absolutely can. By the way, uh, where's your uh, orc friend? And that's where we're going to take a break. Okay. Yeah. All right. He's doing cheese. See, what had happened was we were role playing and forgot he was here. <laughs> this Why is a weird episode. Let's all this. This is a great episode. episode. This is fucking Fun. great. This is the Monty. Yeah, and sorry, about, sorry about the winter thing. I'm like, she's just healing. There's nothing. No, else no, no, there. dude. I am because I'm just like, you know what? Then I could just skip. I could. Skip I'd rather you tell us that to be like, else. hi, winter. Uh, all right, bye. Yeah, like I'm like we could role play, but it would be no different than last week, and I'm like there would be no, no, no development. Well, so well like- listen, then th- this was the easiest time for me to just go. Hey, so when there's a free time in the day, Task will dedicate some of it to go say hi to her. Aw. Yeah. You treat my sister right. Snap my fingers. <laughs> Fing- right, finger guns. Right back. I'm gonna eat a giant bowl of cereal. I am starving. Sounds good. Make sure if you guys are eating, please mute yourself for the stream. Yeah, yeah. Don't yeah. don't don't make eating noise into the stream. I'm mostly talking because Kurt, I think, is eating chips or something. So, but yeah. Well, I'm gonna be right back. I'm gonna use the restroom, and I will return. All right. I guess I'm just gonna stay here and hang out with you guys then. What's going on, guys? Welcome to the Edward Bosco Halftime Show. I am your host, Edward Bosco. You can tell I'm the famous one because I don't even have my portrait up on the screen with everybody else. That's how you can tell. I'm special. And by special, I mean neglected. 
I hope you guys are doing good. Thank you for the hype train, by the way, guys. This is y'all are going crazy right now. This is awesome. We're already what what level are we at? Did we just complete the hype train? Oh, level two complete. Oh, y'all can y'all y'all got some time. You guys are trying to figure this out. Yes, and today's halftime show is in fact brought to you by Lowe's. Lowe's, but why? Bosco, your thoughts on Helix on Flashbang. I'm not going to talk wrestling on Monty's D&D stream. I wish to remain here. Come come find me on Friday, and I'll let you know. Thank you so much for the five tier one subs and Paul. Pool, Holy Paul crap. Pool. Defective sheep with the five tier one subs. That's a that's a thing that just happened. Yo, the fucking, like, the hype train just went ape tits. It hit five already. Yeah, but listen... Worm, I'm app- I'm appreciative that you remember that I still have my icon set as being correct, even though I don't have a portrait in the game. Uh, McLeary, thank you for the 250 bits, saying this session is amazing, and the leap bits from Blackfoot Ferret saying best indoor beach episode ever. 100 bits from Flustered. We've got Bosco, what's Remy's favorite food? Please, I need this info. Is this for another one of those fanfics? I've seen those things before. They're <laughs> terrifying. I've read You'll those. have to wait till it's set in game. We'll talk food. Uh, Forever Dungeon Master with 550 bits. What up, Bosco? How you been, man? I've been good. I've been hanging in there. Can't complain too much. Draconia, tier one sub, saying, been a while since I caught the show live. Really enjoying the session and happy five months. Appreciate you. Good looking out. Hunter Bits from uh, Tamer. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. We got the thousand and change from the ball guy. Basic, give us some AS. ASAM, we love it. I think they meant SMR. Uh, that's probably what they mean. I'll read the next couple bits drops in ASMR because you're so kind. Cosmosis with 100 bits. Hype for you, Mr. Bosco. We like you whether you want us to or not. Mm. It's not so too I bad there. To the... Excuse me. Excuse me. Don't interrupt me. What are you uh, doing? We have to share the mic. Oh, well. Yeah. I have no strings to hold me down. Mm. There are no strings on me. Deep. Uh, Bro, can you both back up? The ball guy with a 1,011 bits. You want to read that one off? or? Uh, no, I, I missed some of the bigger ones up at the top. But we did have Chaos drop 500 bits saying I don't always catch you all live. But when I do, I drop some bits. Stay awesome, my friends. Mm-hmm. Scraper, thank um, you for the 250 bits. What happened to your portrait? It was there before. It was, and now it's not. Oh, geez. I don't like that. You don't like remember. With the leap, best out, indoor sh- beach episode ever. Shout out to everybody in the uh, the live chat on the Discord. And if you're not a, a part of the Discord, what are you doing? Mm-hmm. We post all kinds of information there about shows and the art stream and the Prince Division, which is the show that you can catch every Saturday night at 7 o'clock PST on this same channel with me and Connor being cops, sort of. We're more like private eyes because we're watching you. Fantasy mm-hmm. detectives. It's, yes, fantasy detectives. I like how um, you almost let <laughs> that little girl burn to death. I want, I want to thank Duke Skeletons for the 500 bits. Dropping more bits because I just remembered that this is live and not of odd. And it's good to see that my birthday, good luck, helped at the start. Well, happy birthday, Duke Skeletons, and congrats we, on the new bit badge. Appreciate it. Appreciate you being and here. Cry, cry than one with 1,001 bits. This arc's next villain, Borky's arcs. Arch. Nemesis. Hey, dudes. How's it going? Thank you for the How's thousand bits. The ball guy with 500 bits. Thanks. Loved it. Well, thank Hell you so yeah. much. I want to thank, thank Defective so Sheep for dropping five subs and Paul 72990 for dropping five subs as well. So thank you so much to the pair of you, Defective Sheep and M Paul 72990. Incredibly kind of you guys to do that. The Fervor Gender Master. What up, Bosco? How have you been, man? Uh, salute. Hanging in there. And salute. Mm-hmm. Headshot. Salute. With 500 bits. New message just bits. Well, thank you so much. Bernard Vaughn, Bosco Ultron, making all the sinister Pinocchio references. Yeah. No, he actually, he said that in the movie. Mm-hmm. Audacious. Is it you wrong that, the like... problem with the Avengers? You're so short-sighted. The, 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 the problem with that movie was that um, all, the Ultron was in that movie. <laughs> I like wow. Fuck, no, no, dude, no. I like I like James I liked Spader Vol- did a great performance. No, no. Dude. You, let me let me let me fucking explain. James Spader oh. was amazing. He was great. It's a shame he was in that movie. Why? <laughs> because they did. I just feel like they botched Ultron. There was so much more they could have done with him. I I really like the way they did Ultron. I don't know what he's like in the comics, but in the movie, I really enjoyed. No, him. Also, 
Mm. Oh, go ahead. They made we, got a lot of people. we got we got we got we got to thank people here real quick. We're doing thirteen with the four hundred and ten bits, doubling down on saying that you guys, I am or better. Ah, I'm not going to say that. Thank you so much for the 410 bits, uh, Deluna13. Verdi Winter, thank you for the sub. Uh, X Y Lily giving us up to Die Hard Dice. Excellent. Two months in a row. Salute. Headshot. Salute with 500 bits. No message. Just Destructoid Head bits. Well, thank you so much. And probate with a thousand bits. I can't wait for the city to hire the Unexpectables. Rat Army for emergency cleanup and rescue. It's like, and it's just watching them like merge over and just co cover a bunch of the evil bad guys and they just turn into skeletons afterwards. They're <laughs> like land piranha. What was that fucking name of that game? Pestilence? Mm. No, that was that was that pestilence game I want to stream at some point. Kurt. It's super mm -hmm. Don't eat in the don't eat in the mic. I'm <laughs> oh, sorry. We were doing an ASMR stream. In in Cindy's Productions, thank you for the 200 bits. Great session so far, guys. Hope you're all doing well. And congrats, Bosco, for Hasbun Hotel getting picked up by 824. Yeah, they've they've had a lot of success with horror stuff in the past, and they're notorious for giving a lot of creative control to the person who creates the IP. So it's it's super exciting. Yes, Plague Tale was the name of the game. Mm. Dread oh, oh Plague Tale Innocence. That game yeah. was really cool. Dreadhunter335 with 2,000 bits. My goodness. Hey, guys. Ran my last Mass Effect D20 session before I move last Sunday. We are currently halfway through the first story arc. Also, crazy idea. Have Bosco DM a Mass Effect game with Monty as a player. I don't know if I Monty wanna... likes Mass Effect. I do. I tried oh, playing it, and I didn't like playing it, but I do like the Mass Effect universe. Like, as, I as long as so, if if you play the D twenty, you have to homebrew. Like, for example, if you play a, a Krogan, they're broken. They'll just wreck your shit. So you have I to homebrew play... a lot of stuff. I want to be those things that have to say what their emotion is every single time they talk. Oh, Eldar. Profound oh, sadness. <laughs> I, just, I love them so much. Those, those As so we move through oh. the world, we Hang have on. to remember. Oh my goodness! Everyone is wonderful. The Elcor is so good. I, I I would like an Elcor to be a streamer. What's up, guys? Great happiness in streaming to all of now you. Now that was a Poggers yeah. moment. You know who also does? <laughs> you know the, uh, the there's another character that Bioware made who uses a similar mechanic where you have to say your thing before you say it. And it was HK47 from the Old Republic series, who I fucking love because he was a That's sarcastic murder yeah. robot who was yeah. meatbag. Was he, he, it was he created meatbag. I played that game Why? That hello there, meatbag. Ah, you know what it sounded like? He sounded like a exclamation. 19, he sounded like a. I'm 19, quite excited for you, master, as you detective. tried to kill people. 1930s detective HK47 it was, was great. so good. He was such a good performance. Query, uh, like he would always. My, be, my like, favorite thing about Mass Effect was literally being at the uh, hmm. what's it called, the Citadel, like the Citadel the third great. game, and running around. The moment was like, okay, time to leave the Citadel. I was like, uh, like I dug my nails into the floor. I was like, no, and then I got to like my first like. I had to fucking drive around in a car on a yeah planet. that was all oh, the idea. mako yeah and that was a bad that and i i literally can never get past that part because the moment i i go from like my favorite part of the game to that shit i just stop playing uh i want to thank kai reason for the five minutes boss for the first time i heard you was in the og talking story ara from dust and elysian tale let's go dust oh, Ara's yeah. good luck my favorite role to you and against ron fault thank you so much nice. for saying oh I better ron fault versus ara that'd be interesting that'd be, that'd be pretty good did you know that I was the soldiers and that's why you kept killing me? It's Why'd true. I do remember that. <laughs> Arc oh, Archeo Lumiere. Thank you so much for the bits. 100 bits. Monty wears Remy's portrait. Dun -dun. Blada 64 <laughs> with 100 bits. I just want to update. Also, always a good catch you guys live. Thank you so much. Wells234. Thank you so much for the sub. Glad Hassford is excited to be your representative. I make things up with the 500 bits. I have some bits for the hell of it. You're all awesome. Well, thank you so much. And Viridian Thanks. Winter. Is everybody with, back? Because we need to get right back yeah. into the game. Viridian Winter with 10,000 bits. Die Hard Dice. You should sponsor Monty. Ooh, Viridian Winter with the 10,000 bits. Sponsor God damn. Um, that's, that's too kind. Connor, are you back? Okay, Connor's not back. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Okay. Oh, there we go. What about Zeno? Gonna... I'm right here, dude. Yeah, okay. we, can jump, we need to jump back into it because time we got to utilize time, unfortunately. All right, all right, all right. So, we have yeah. to mutilate time? Time. Where is time? Where is memory? Yeah, but Monty, is time just a, a concept that was created? No, 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 boss. It's a flat. It's a flat circle. All right. Isn't it just uh, a spice? All right. So we're gonna return to the game now. Spice. Forky. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> just walking down the street with like a big stride and his arms swinging to and fro. Where are you going? Borky's gonna head to Adric Middlemain's house shop. You know, where is that? Shit! 
<laughs> Borky, is there a city guard around? Yeah, yeah, you can you can find a city guard. Borky, you, you, boink, 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 boink. You find a dwarf. He's kind of like he he's he currently placed on the edge of like a city street, and it's just kind of like eating an orange and looking out. Uh, towards uh, the Hello, fellow orange enthusiast. My name's Borky the Orky, and I happen to be looking for Adric Metalmain's shop, place of business. Oh, well, can you point me in the general direction? You're looking for the metal main place? Uh, I am looking for the metal main place, yes. Uh, you're looking at going, uh, you want to go down this street about, uh, about 100 paces and eventually to the left. The big building, paces. can't miss it. It's got the big, big. metal main on the side. Oh, is it, is it read metal main? Yeah, you can read, right? Yeah. You bet your sweet cheeks I can. Thank you very much, sir. I, oh, lad, you watch as he tosses an orange your way. Oh, sweet. Thank you. Borky puts it in his mouth and just chews. <laughs> <laughs> the dwarf Wine goes for my life in a nice single. Some, somewhere the Citra King is cringing. Mm. <laughs> you make your way down. Uh, following the directions, you eventually find yourself in front of a very large warehouse. Do, 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 do. Borky walks up the steps. Of the, where's the front door? The front door is right in front of you. Can you describe the building to me, Monty? It is a large brick, large brick warehouse. Uh, the roof appears to be a wooden paneled roof. Um, there is a sign on the front which reads <clears throat> Metal Main in a sort of like bolted in metal brush signage. Uh, the building itself is a variety of different bricks of varying different colors, mostly whites and blue stones. Uh, and the steps leading up are, again, uh, kind of carved out of the ground itself. Um, there, This building's rather well kept. Um, and there's a set of two heavy front oaken doors that seem to be closed. It's not his house, but this appears to be maybe a place of business that Adric owns Bor or works at. Borky grabs both the doors and opens it in slow-mo. You swing it open, and what I could only describe as pure dwarven pandemonium. You see thousands of dove dwarves just running through building Thous furniture. Yeah, thousands in here. Uh, it is a rather crowd. There are people going in and out. There's people kind of going in, into other buildings and out of other buildings. This is a full-on multi-leveled uh, workshop for making furniture, oh. um, among other things. Uh, excuse, Borky, try to try to get any other. Like, uh, excuse, oh, oh, um, excuse, they don't oh. really notice you like, as you kind of like make your way into the crowd. Like they wait, like like water. The dwarves slow flow around you. Um. Ooh. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? Take Borky. Thank. Uh, Where's yeah. Adric Metal Man? He says out loud. Ah. <laughs> yeah. The all the all the dwarves kind of look up and they go. And one of the one of the female dwarves who's like working on what looks like a uh, like a set of tables kind of looks up and goes, "Do you want Adric Metal Man or Adric Metal Man Junior or Adric Metal Man Junior Junior or do you need Adric Metal Man Junior Junior Junior?" I don't know. I and all the dwarves <laughs> stop, shake their heads. Well, describe them for me, I. Um, he's, he's short and got a beard. <laughs> well, that's not going to be Adric Metalmane Jr. 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 then. Uh, okay, so I'd like Adric Metalmane Sr. 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 We can get you Sr. And you watch say like, Oi! And you watch as this really old dwarf comes up and walks up. <laughs> Is it not that? Of, it's not Adric Metalmane you know, but it, he looks like yeah. Cranky. Kong, but a dwarf. Yes! Oh my god, what happened? <laughs> what do you need? Oh. Can't you see we're doing business, I am? No, I, I, I am here for business. I am I am here to procure the services of the metal mains to build my cheesery. Cheesery? Yeah. The thing is, there's no cheeseries around here. And I'm gonna call it Cheese Your Mind. Don't be the only cheesery in the Adelvast, but uh, I think you're looking for me, son. Mm. Oh, oh, okay. I thought, okay, I thought you were him, and I thought time just went too quickly or something. I. You kind of caught you. You got a few nails short of a full set, aren't you, boy? Y yes. No. Uh, I'll get my son. 
but he like hobbles away and eventually you see Adric metal main the one you know kind of go oi well bless oh, you. it ain't borky the okay you wreck sense out of hand uh, it's good to see you, Mr. Metal Man. I've come to procure your services and also for... That's your dad, right? The... 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 the, the, the I the, had to up a bit of a sour grape, that one is, but yeah. He said, he said I don't have enough nails. Should I get some? Nails for what? You building something? I uh, Yeah, I want to build a cheesery. You want to build a cheesery? Ah! Yep, I'm going into business with myself. <laughs> Uh, in services as it is, isn't it? No, 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 that's a separate. That's this. This is what this is what um, I heard is called a side hustle. Side hustles are illegal, boy. But if you want to make a side business, then yes. I, I can aid you with that. Um, you want to make an independent business? That'd be pretty easy to do. The only yeah. problem to land right now are a little bit rough, but there are a few people who have left Alavast after the most recent uh, dragon pest problem, so uh, I could probably find you a place. Could we, get a, could, could we get a place for cheaper if it has dragon damage? I but construction would cost you an arm and a leg if you're willing to pay that much for it. Well, I prefer to keep my limbs. Okay, well, I, you know, I'm gonna <laughs> Baby speak for you. I think that might be the smartest thing I could do. And okay. Let me just look here at the base price. I mean, most places, you're probably not going to find a place in the high districts. I mean, that's... No, uh, I figured it would be low district. Okay. I believe, be... the ma I believe the masses should have the cheese I will be providing. Fair enough. Uh, mm. You want to look for, like, an actual proper, proper business, eh? Yes. Um, yes. Yes. Proper. Hey, hey, Kurt. Yeah, mm -hmm. if if you if Borky gave away his limbs, wouldn't that mean that he has phantom limbs? Ah, uh, wouldn't the he have phantom the, limbs? The Kurt? Does the sterva of you? <laughs> Minus five. Shit. I have to find something here. I did, I forgot to grab my, my book. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. I should have had this ready, but I did not. Because That's all right. I'm it happens. A big stupid. I'm nope. gonna. Guy, I'm just gonna see myself out, guys. I'll catch you later. Okay. You probably gotta go record for stuff, anyways, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> He's gonna record for like seven other video games while we wait. Yeah. Look, it's five, maybe six. Let me check my email. Hang on. Uh... Yeah, dude. I can't wait. I can't wait to go on my Netflix and give a thumbs down to that Transformers series. You out of jealousy. Bastard. Out of jealousy. Pure still, and simple jealousy. I still appreciate your patronage. It takes time out of your day to go do that, and I really appreciate that you would take that kind of effort on me. I, you know, anything for you, man. I will, I will go you. the extra mile for spite for you, man. There uh, you are the best. I'm trying to find... Ugh, it's in the Dungeon Master's Guide. I can't remember what do, page it is. Do, do you want to come back to this later? No, no, no. I, I need to do this now. I should have had this. I, the problem was so much has happened this week. I haven't had a lot of time to work on the Unexpectables. And that's my yeah, no worries. No worries. Uh, this style. I don't care about the shadow fell. Fuck those guys. Yeah. Well. Yeah. Um. Just, I'm just imagining Adric going through a book right what now. What are you looking for? I'm looking for uh, building prices specifically. Um. I can only. People find say page 127. I don't have the book. I have to. I'm gonna get up and grab the book. Fuck it. I'll be right back. One second. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. All right, meantime, yeah. while we wait for her to what? come back, thank whoa, you, whoa, everybody. Whoa, you no, 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 go, you know what, you know what, you know what, it's, it's all about, you know what, you know what, it's not all about you, Bosco, it's all it's about Goomba. I had it on my shelf, I'm just actually an idiot. Okay, hold on. <laughs> I'm glad it's no longer about me. Wait, why did yeah, I do 127. Siege equipment. That's the last thing. I need a siege equipment. Oh, what? excuse you, you hold on a second. I would like a, I would like a trebuchet. Excuse As somebody me. who is very, listen. Someone said, what, page 127? Yes. yes. 127. War also, for why would you not give Task a ballista? Seriously, War for Alavast. Siege. Mm -hmm. Let's go. There we go. All right. The great, the great eater. So you want a business. Okay, you want a shop. Right. Mm-hmm. So shops. Okay, and then I need, oh, God, I need so many books for this. I have I'm so sorry. I didn't hear oh, things falling I over. This. I should have been more prepared. That's on me. I'm That's trying to remember what what nightmares did you guys go through? Not everybody got a nightmare. Task, I think. Yeah. Well, no, task, task and, um, no, task oh. and, um, panic. Panic. Yeah. Panic. 
Oh. Uh, Borky hasn't had, Panic, hasn't had a dream. Panic experienced I, uh, existential bone. loneliness. Right, the broken uh, bones one. Ta Task just had fucking visions of a giant fucking three-headed... I, I pretty much had a kaiju fight happen in my dream. Ah, uh, fair. I had a kaiju fight and everyone ignored me. How much? How much? How much damage did you take? My my <laughs> my ego took all the damage. I had to roll three fucking saving throws. <laughs> hey, at least you got to roll saving throws. Okay. That's true. Oh boy. All right. So looking at this. <clears throat> All right, based off of some numbers I'm looking at. Yeah. An Alavastian coinage. Mm hmm. Uh, the cost to probably build a location from scratch, if that's mm. what you want, is probably going to cost about 20,000 gold pieces. Uh, I don't have quite that. How much for uh, a, a refurbished building? Uh, we could do that for about 10,000 gold pieces. But if you intend to open a, a, a reputable business, and you're looking at about, depending, you're probably selling cheese, you said, I. Yeah, yeah, many kinds of cheeses, exotic you're, cheeses. You're probably going to have to talk to the Farmer's Guild mm -hmm. uh, and speak with them, because you'll have to register with them to sell um, artisan goods of that nature. Yes, locally sourced cheeses. Exactly. Mm -hmm. uh, so you'll have to ask them about that. And then, of course, there's the expenses of, you know, maintaining the building and paying oh, yeah. your, and taxes and your employees and that sort of thing. Yeah. Marky's yeah. starting to get nervous. <laughs> Sweat drops. Uh, yeah. Looking at the Farmer's Guild, uh, it looks like he's kind of he's just flipping through, like, giant stacks of papers. It looks like for the Farmer's Guild, you're looking at about 2,500 gold pieces for registry with them. Um, yep. Okay. You look kind of a little bit pale there, friend. It's very warm in here. How about this? I'll keep an eye out for places that might fit your description, see if I can get you a good deal. Well, I, I, I'm feeling for the cheese, for like a cheese where I need some storage space while the cheese percolates. You need a warehouse too as well, eh? I, I mean, I don't need too much. You gotta, you gotta start like small, right? It's, you gotta... Right? You know, he's, more, he's like, try, like making a, have a ball, fake ball in his hand and keeps making it smaller. You know, I'm looking for, uh, let's see, let's see. If you want uh, just a warehouse, you're looking at probably at least 5,000 gold pieces. Ah, beans. Okay. It feels about a big one. It like a little place. Like a shed's probably like not that much, but I can't promise security. That's the downside. Mm hmm. Okay. Okay. Of course. Okay. Can I, can I play my hand here, Mr. Me Mr. 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 Okay, I got like about fourteen. I got like about um, fourteen thousand gold. So, I think okay. I might be. I might. I, mean, I think I might be a bit short here. I. But you're pretty close. I mean, I could find you a building. There might be someone selling for cheaper, trying to jump ship after all the dragon nonsense. But um... okay, I will also live in a haunted place. You'd like a haunted place? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you no, no, I'm just. I... Stack of books. We got some up there. Okay, all right. I'll go for a haunted place. Are they cheaper? A little cheaper, not by much. It's but... just a roommate you can't kick out, you know? Hey, right, that's true. I mean, um, you say that, but... <laughs> I can look into some buildings. I'm in the middle of a contract right now, but All I right. can look into it and we can look at some places. Okay, that sounds excellent. Your budget um... sounds a little bit manageable, but possible. Uh, the biggest thing I'd worried about, if you're not running this place yourself, which I don't recommend, uh, mm. you seem a little bit more suited for the adventure in life, uh, the upkeep of a shop average in town is about 20 gold pieces per day. Okay, well, you know, I think it's possible. It's a it's a risk. It's a risk. But all good our things are worth it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that is the cheese joke. Yes, it is, Mr. Middleman. All right, well, yeah, that would be the main thing. I would definitely talk to someone in the farming registry, and also I'll tell you this one thing here. You're not buying goods. Do not try to haggle your registry. If mm -mm. someone's not paying fairly, fights break out, real nasty thing, poison line and the like. Oh, jeez, I better not drink when wine. When mafia shows up. But that's how mafia works. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. <laughs> I 
I see. Okay, so okay, so I gotta go talk to um the farmers guild. Where 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 are they? Are they in a field? You'll have to send them a, le a letter. Oh Jesus. Okay, I'll send them a letter. File a cover letter, a C V and some references to talk to. Okay. Um so just care of the, the 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 farmers guild. You'll need to apply. Okay, I'm gonna apply white pressure. Okay. Um, <laughs> you know what I'd recommend? Yeah, what's that? I'd speak with the researcher that I know you just hired. Uh-huh. And see if he can help you. He kind of pats you on the bicep. I can't help but feel you're being a bit condescending to me, good sir. However, I would admit I am out of my depth here a little bit. There's no, just... nothing wrong with asking no, for I just... a bit of help. I mean, I'm going to need it, obviously, when it comes to this kind of businessing. Uh, so I'm going to head back. Thank you so much. But if you could um, just whenever you're possible, give, send maybe a, um, a letter with the possible places I could go take a look at. Certainly. I can walk around with you and make sure the building inside isn't going to kill you or has any okay. sort of asbestos. Okay. What's that? It's poison. Oh, jeez. Why would you put that in your house? That's a good question. Mm. All right, thank you for... Very nice talking to you, Borky. Give uh, ve Helga my regards. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus! <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, dude! Bor Borky and Helga have a complicated relationship. Yeah. I'm kidding, I will. <laughs> All right, now stay out of trouble. Oi! Ilbrick, make sure you lift up the... He kind of goes back and starts barking orders at his assumedly family. I'm going to assume they're all one giant bloodline. I mean, they're dwarves, man. Bloodlines run deep. All right, so Borky heads out and starts heading back towards the the, sw the sweat dragon. Roll a perception check for me as you're walking. <laughs> going to have myself a beast. News 23. <laughs> You see a familiar red kobold walking rather hurriedly through the streets. Oh my god, it's Task! Uh, as you get closer, it is not Task. It is a armored kobold uh, currently oh! with a uh, drow. Who you oh. recognize as Quarion oh! Sahar. Mama's home. Oh. Borky just kind of walks up nonchalantly. Hey, Mrs. Zahar. Hi, ah! hi, hi, hi Quiro. Uh, my name is Quarion. Well, excellent. I'm glad that someone's come to greet us. Take us to your hovel, orc. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You're a Oh, oh Task oh, Mom! No, 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 Bork, 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 Bork. Bork is like, yes, ma'am. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, I'm ready for this. Exactly. Yeah, Bork as well. He's walking. Oh, by the way, it's good that I bumped into you as well. I think I'm gonna need you to come swing by the bank and take out the money. I'm opening a cheesery, you see, Mrs. Zaha. Roll a charisma, roll a charisma check. What? Oh, no. <laughs> Shouldn't be. Charisma check for me. <laughs> okay. Just straight charisma. Yeah, just straight charisma. You're what good at that. Thirteen. Nice. Eighteen with advantage. 18 with, adva with advantage? Yeah. yeah. 18. As you walk with her, she looks up and goes, What, you find that adventuring does not suit you? Oh, no, it will. But it's only a matter of time before something truly terrible happens to me. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my fucking God. You got to figure, I look at it this way, right? Every time we seem to find ourselves in a predicament, and the stakes get worse and worse. <laughs> and eventually, something's just to come lop me arm off. Lob me leg off. <laughs> and at that point, I can't go adventuring. So what am I going to do? I'm not I can only live at Panic's house for so long. All right? <laughs> <laughs> so what I'm thinking is, if I take all my money that I've made from adventuring, which is about 40,000 gold, and as my mother always said, a penny saved is a penny owed, and I pour that into a cheesery business with artisanal locally sourced cheeses, right? I have myself... A retirement plan? I think that's how it works. Why cheese? <coughs> As her, Borky looks at her very, like, confused, like, it's fucking delicious. <laughs> <laughs> 
It is half rotted milk. I don't quite understand. I know, right? It is so goddamn good. If I could eat only one thing for the rest of my life, it would be victory or cheese. I would take victory. And she strides of forward. Of course you would. <laughs> hey, don't talk to your mom like that. And Borky just as he's like Borky as she's walking off a little bit. Oh, by the way, I'm a war chief now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> While the rest of you guys are at the tavern collecting yourself, you watch as both of the double doors are thrown open and Azra Zahar, Quarion, and Borky enter inside. Remy instantly looks at Task. Task. I am looking for Greckles Birdman. Uh, uh, um, what I'm the here. fuck did you do, Task? What did you do, Greckles? Uh, Task, it's been a day. <laughs> Yes. He's laughing in character, by the way. Yes, Azra, I'm right here. You feel better, actually, at this point, Greckles. Okay. Yeah, that effect goes away after you okay. so you're fine now. It oh. was kind of like, like Borky's bonitis. It just kind of... <laughs> 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 my my <laughs> only regret, regret bonitis. is that I have bonitis. All right. I'm, I, I'm here, Azra. W what's going on? You have been formally summoned to the Temple of the Moon on the High District to make audience with Lady Soliandris. That's actually great news. This request is urgent. Okay, okay. Uh, I've got everything done that I need to do. I, I guess I'm ready to go. You are permitted uh, to bring your companions as you see fit, but only those of trusted ears. Looks at Borky. <laughs> Watch it. She, <laughs> she looks at Borky and she turns to you. I can vouch for this one. Oh, okay, cool. Borky goes oh, thumbs right up. Uh, all right then. I suppose let's go then. Right. As you guys gather up your things and and make your way through the city streets with Azra, she kind of gives you a bit of a side glance task and doesn't really look behind. She's always looking forward. She goes, "I have heard that you have been busy." Oh, have you? Task have. is like Task doesn't have like any condescending voice in him. He's just talking to her like normally. Like, oh, really? I have heard you smote a quite a great dragon by word of the council. Yes, with assistance, but uh, what my ten year entire <laughs> my ten years uh, my ten year revenge trip has finally been fulfilled, and also I have purged a very big blight from the rest of this place. You have done so so young, but do not let it get to your head. Threatens threats care not for your ego in times of war and fighting. I no longer need an ego. She stops in her place and turns back and looks at you. What? I'm free. I finally set out what I needed to do, and now I can continue my life. Is it so simple? She steps forward and keeps walking. If you let it be that way, I choose to. I She's found... I, I Tess stops for a hot second before he says the L word. He's just like, no, you know what? Fuck it. I found love. You found love. Is that so strange? Grickles looks down. <laughs> Fuck. That's such a loaded response. I love you guys. <laughs> she kind of stops. It, it, it may seem hard to you, but she waits you know. hard. Goes, You're young, and she keeps walking. You're young. Yeah, and I might have a little bit of info on you, but that's only if you want to ask it. What, has Riku filled you with stories of my legends? Nah, this is something way beyond his head. But I don't want to bother you with the details. You seem a little bit uh, frazzled, shall we say, <laughs> after getting back did, home. Did Task tell us about this? Yes. Yes, we know. Mm. Uh... <clears throat> Perhaps maybe now isn't the time for this. That's pretty fair. Oh, what are you guys talking about? Moat of information. <laughs> no, that's quite all right. The point being, Azra, I know I was insubordinate, to say the least, to you in the past, but I'm looking past that now, and hopefully you can do the same on my end. I make no promises. My duty is to Lady Sully Andrus. Oh, you can live a little. I am living enough. Come, she opens up the front gate to the high districts. Let's head on in. Uh, as you guys make your way, the guards are like, excuse me, I need a minute. Do you want me to cut you down where you stand? Never mind. Jesus Christ. She's wow. in a hurry. She is in a hurry. 
Also, we're heroes. We're heroes. I hold up my medal. We're heroes. <laughs> <laughs> you just carry that thing around everywhere. Are you Wayne's World? Yeah, dude. Are you I Wayne's fucking want hey, that Hey, shit. hello. Sorry, it's part of me. I have to. Okay, thank you. That's my ticket into places. Right. You guys make your way to the Hyde District. Um, it, it's being repaired. It's still in the repair, uh, repair state. A lot of windows were broken when Krieger M landed on top of the attic. It is lighter here now that the uh, there's now three crystals floating above the city, the attic and the two kind of child crystals as you guys make your way. Uh, eventually, you guys meet up with, with Jerry outside of the... Uh, oh. Hey! I'm not going to do it. I've done Scarbles and Hot Rod today. My voice is gone. Hi, Jerry. Tell me about your time. <laughs> it was full! Um, you guys make your way inside of the temple and you see Sally. She <gasps> has a scar down the front of her face. Oh, yes. oh that not makes a stronger. bad scar, but like a little heel, but it like she nice. got hit with a sword. Um she looks like like glow up. She looks really battle hardened. Um still her, you know, herself, but She's currently talking with Pilchard, and her back is facing you. And uh, Pilchard kind of looks up from the paperwork, and she's like, "Always like, if you could send the message right away, I yes, of course." And 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 could you? And she turns over. She's you, oh, um, Greckles, and she runs over and just gives you the biggest hug. Oh hell yeah, Aww. hug, big old hug back. Oh, so it's been so long. You look great, like really great. Something happened. <laughs> Uh, that's yeah. a tale to regale possibly another time. Your feathers are so shiny and your beak is like, it was a little crooked, but now it's like, <laughs> God I damn. Look fine. Let's, you look really fine. Oh, I, I, I actually feel pretty gay considering everything. <sighs> but uh, yeah, you called, so we got over here as soon as we could. Oh, gosh, I don't even know where to start. I, I, uh, she starts pacing back and forth. Uh, maybe we should sit down. Um, I would like to stand. Okay. Um, you may take a seat. I just have to collect my thoughts, I suppose. Um, gosh, I, I don't even know. I, I suppose I should tell you of my trip to the, uh, Underdark. Oh, yeah. How was, how was Bob? Uh, uh, an experience, I would say. I was not expecting him to be him. him? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Older? Well, um, he was, um, well, I guess we could start there. I, 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 I suppose, let me, I just got to find like some sort of background music real mm -hmm. fast. Uh, I, I, I do want to ask to say one thing before she continues though. He like kind of just like raises his, uh, finger from his forehead all the way down, like imitating the scar on her face. Some big character you have there. Uh, it'll go away. Um, we, we had a bit of a situation. We'll call it the situation. Um, so I, I've managed to learn of Bob's origins, I suppose. Uh, he was a spectator employed by what probably were the people who once lived upon these lands. It seems that his endurance evolved him and he became what he is now. Um, he is a kind soul, but a bit... Um, eccentric? Sure, I'll, I'll say the word eccentric. <clears throat> Bob is of a great concern to me, um, but the time I spent beneath the undersun has been very clarifying. But through clarity, I have found some horror, and from there, I've been made a bit concerned by a great many things. Well, we're here. The nature of the United Clergy of Orin and their leaders. I'm sure you've heard of their approach and their threats against Alabas the city. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's something we've already been looking to, actually. You've always been a nosy bunch, but it is appreciated. You notice that Sully's actually carrying herself really, really well. Mm. Like, she's usually just like, oh, no, I have to, I'm scared. She's yeah. like, she still has that edge sure of being kind of introverted, but she is kind of commandeering this this talk. Like, she's kind of getting some of Azra Sahar's backbone mm. in her personality a little bit. Um... <laughs> She kind of, like, rubs her chin and walks back and forth. The Undersun is a piece of Oren's eye. Mm. What? Huh. Oh! I, hang on, I to figured, the notes. I figured as much. 
Yeah, I would always had my theories, but... That's huge information. It is. And it is concerning information as well. Is it be, be just more fracturing then? I suppose. I am to be made known that this is not the only location where such a piece of stone or piece of a god lies. She turns to Azra. Azra Sahar has found such similar stones in the lands of Ruba underneath the sands. This suggests to me that there are many pieces of Orin scattered across the material plane. Hmm, that's insane. <laughs> How do you think I feel? I guess it makes sense. Bob has defended the Undersun. It is probably the largest piece that exists on the material plane. Based on the knowledge and the study, I've managed to partake in the temple that lies there. I was looking into my studies when we were attacked by uh, an army force of drow. We managed to fight them back and suffer a few losses. She kind of taps the scar on her eye. But the fighting made me stronger. And the study and time I spent underground has given me much clarity. And a few horrifying revelations. Such as? Bob is the speaker. Just, just silence. In our faith, there is always one who speaks to Orin and comparts his messages directly to us. I believe that Bob is this individual. So Bob can speak directly to Orin. His knowledge is beyond anyone I've ever seen. He might not even be aware of it, but the way in which he carries himself suggests that he can speak to Orin directly. At the very least, speak to his eye directly and know of its power. I guess that would make a lot of sense, everything that we encountered with him. But this rises a very terrifying question for me. If Bob is the speaker, then who is talking to the speaker in Periton? And that is where we're going to end this session. Oh, oh, what? Oh. Oh. Oh, man, Bye, Austin! I wanted, Austin. I, I, wanted Austin. Say, I, I at least wanted to throw in one more thing before it. this all happened, but fuck. I wanted to at least say, oh, by the way, Ray Fire says she loves you. <laughs> well, we'll get to that next week. <laughs> That's fair. Bye, Austin. Bye, oh, Austin. Bye, Austin. Hey. Man. Man. What episode is this? This is unexpected. 130. Oh, balls. I don't know. It is. I could check here. 135. 135. It is 135. 135. I'm not crazy. Very well. As you requested, Milady, here is 135. By the way, Nadine, thank you for letting me try to do the cheesery story. This is this is this. I didn't have I've, my week's been insane. I I was oh, I, no. I don't know if anything. I was honestly tempted to, to to actually delay today's episode because I haven't had a lot of time to prep. But I'm still glad we played. This was a lot of fun. Oh yeah, absolutely. This is great. Absolutely, it was a lot of fun. We're, we're, gonna, have, we're gonna get rest. that dude. We're gonna get that fucking snake on the council. Oh my god. Guys, our snake. You, you guys, we should make, no, we should make not our snake. That's the problem. We, no, we should actually make him sign an agreement with us. Now that he's on the council, he gives us intel for free. No more fucking holding. I was gonna, up. I was gonna suggest that. That's absolutely uh, no, no, no more paying for it. You give it to us for free, you I, bastard. I would like to suggest that he's barred from sharing any of our information because mm. he's willing. He's one hundred percent willing to sell us out. I don't know why well, but, we apparently but forgot. If you put that. him on the council, he works for you then. Does yeah, let's go. Yes, yes, you make sure of that shit. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> oh yes, no, that, man. that's why I didn't. That's why I didn't say we cross the D's and uh, the T's and dot the I's. Now we do that as a team. A then there's going to be ground rules. Yeah. Also, they they still have to give you the position first. Uh huh. That's also true. Nah, dude. Then there's like, why would we put a fucking snake on the council? He's royalty. What? Yeah, dude. He's royalty. Yep. I yeah, am. dude. So, yes, I am here. Yeah. What, what do we want to name Blech. today? Episode? Oh, it's hard to name. Hole in one. I mean, yeah, I, I, I can kind of dig that. Uh, I feel like let's go through the let's go through some of these bit drops here at the end to figure out a name. But before that, 
I would uh, like us to wrap up here and each of us plug what we got going on. Zito, what's going on with you? Oh, hi. Find me over at twitch.tv slash Zito, CZ Backlash on Twitter, and uh, over in Almanac on Patreon. Uh, Patreon, I'm in the getting it the artist phase for the Hanu, which is basically you get to play a Sun Wukong, so that'll be coming out, I want to say, hopefully soft release by the end of the month. Uh, that that's the that's the nice goal. I don't know if that will happen, but the nice goal is the nice goal nonetheless. Uh, on Twitter, I'm drawing an unhealthy amount of Sankeys because it's 2020 and Sonic OCs are back in again. Because fuck it, it's we have no time to be embarrassed and we just need to draw shit. Because what makes us happy is way more important than sitting here going, man, everything sucks. Uh, I might open commissions on that too, but that will probably be for the Twitch stream. And on the Twitch stream, we got Sonic Robo Blast Two Cart. I might do Sonic Robo Blast 2 mods, uh, which is the main game, which is Doom with Sonic and then Doom with Sonic. That's Mario Kart because it's a modception party. Uh, Fall Guys and who the fuck else knows? But Fall Guys will happen again sometime. Probably on my line end as well. But uh, hey, Distortion Devil, where can they find you, man? It's me. You can find me on Twitter and Twitch at Distortion Devil, where I'm streaming Tuesday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Uh, Tuesdays and Saturdays are going to be Yakuza 0 since R.I.W. is on a, uh, a sort of a mini hiatus here until I figure out what I want to do with it. Uh, Friday is Friday Funhouse where I play a bunch of fun games with my friends. Saturday or er, Sunday is um, playing games with the Harbingers, the people behind Dead House Sonata. And speaking of Dead House Sonata, it is a spiritual successor to the Legacy of Cain series. Uh, it is a narratively driven action RPG where you play as the undead to fight the living currently being developed by Apocalypse Studios and directed <clears throat> by Dennis Dyack, the man behind Eternal Darkness, Sanity's Requiem, and The Legacy of Kane as well. If you have any interest in that at all, please join the forums, join the Discord, and follow that link if you're interested in purchasing a Founders Pack. The game will be free to play, but you'll get a whole bunch of extra goodies if you purchase a Founders Pack and early access. Awesome, dude. Hey, Bosco, where can they find you, man? Yo, what up? You can find me over at Ed Bosco VA on both Instagram and Twitter, and then right here on Twitch.tv slash Ed Bosco. Oh, my goodness. So exciting. Like, Monty, where can they find you? Hi, you can find me at Monty Glue on Twitter and Twitch.tv forward slash Monty Glue. Streams will be reconvening next week. Um, I'm going to be gone this weekend. Also, I forgot to announce at the beginning, uh, this Saturday there will not be a Prince Division episode because mm. I am going to go to the fire forest to fight bears, and it's necessary. Yeah. By the way, I saw a bear driving out of there recently. I, I know. I'm going to find them. Mm -hmm. Monty, you can't die. You don't. Why? Bold of you to assume that I would die, Bosco. I, I know you. Bold of you to assume that my blood would be spilled. But, yeah, so I'll be back uh, probably Monday, Tuesday. Uh, so I'm going to be gone. I'm sorry. It's all right. All right. Hey, um, Gaijin Goomba. Oh, boy, it's me. Yeah, where can they find you, man? Uh, Twitch.tv slash Gaijin Goomba. Uh, Tango Tuesday every Tuesday, 7 p.m. U.S. Central. Uh, one of these days I will buy that new switchboard so I can actually play the damn instrument instead of the game replicating the instrument. Uh, but until then, uh, Saturday and Sunday as well, I might do some more Neo 2 because Ultra Hard Mode has been out and I'm loving it. Um, playing around with a couple of new builds. If you don't know what Neo is, it's basically like uh, it, it's it's Weeb Souls, but better Weeb Souls than than it's like it's, it's like it's like Weeb Demon Souls. Pretty yeah, you know what? That's actually a more apropos example. Weeb mm. Demon given Dark, Darkborn. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm doing a lot of that. I might be doing some more Fall Guys. I might have to scream though if I run into a hacker because that's apparently a, a thing. Tell us uh, how you got the ninja costume. I bought it because I know my <laughs> fucking brand. <laughs> I spent ten whole dollars on Fall Guys ten, fun ten, bucks. He ten spent steam. real fun money. Real ten fun steam. money. You 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 used itchy and scratchy money. I used itchy and scratchy <laughs> money to buy my dumbass not ninja ninja outfit because I know what I am about. I am turning thirty six in a month. I am comfortable with who I am. God damn it. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Uh, anyway, hey, Ga Gaijin, I'm proud of you, man. That's like good on you. Well, when you get old, you don't care. Um. <laughs> anyway, uh, so I also just released 
uh, a brand new Witch Ninja on Ghost of Tsushima. I had a lot of fun putting together. It is 27 minutes long. It is the longest scripted video I've ever done. Please go check it out. Uh, it's doing pretty good so far. It's slowing down a little bit, but eh, whatever. Um, but yeah, no, if you if you like ninjas, uh, if you like Ghost of Tsushima, please go check it out. I, a lot went into it. And I am currently working on the part two Witch Ninja of Zuko from Avatar Last Airbender. Mm. Uh, boy, and then it's back to Tsushima for talking about nature Shinto and otherwise. But uh, awesome. yeah, that's 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 big old wee me. And uh, yeah. And you can find me at twitch.tv slash takahata101 where we're playing Sea of Thieves, where we also have hackers. Yeah! High five, Goomba! Oh. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Ever seen a guy hit three three chain shots at each of your masts from nearly a mile away? I love oh. that game. Oh, good. Um, as well, on top of that, uh, I will be doing some more lo-fi ASMR beats to chill and build a city to in City Skylines. And tomorrow... Starting at around 4 o'clock, we got some MNW wrestling action, the continuation of the teacup tournament title matches. I can't wait! And, of course, Trashman Jones, uh, he had in the match, but uh, it is being canceled because, unfortunately, the person he was wrestling against got was moved to uh, Bosco's show, Flashbang, so it, it will now be a victory speech. Yeah, I didn't even want him. He just kind of showed up. Oh, there you go, man. There you go. Uh, but, yeah, but... Uh, Aside from that, I'm going to be jumping in here and thanking some of you wonderful folks for the bits. I want to thank Viridian Winter again for the 10,000 bits. Die Hard Dice, you should sponsor Monty. Well, thank you so much for saying that. Bean Shovel, the 500 bits as well. Mm, sorry. I'm going to drop off some bits because it's my birthday. also want to say thank you for the wonderful entertainment y'all have given me. Well, Bean Shovel, thank you so much for the 500 bits and happy birthday to you. Very kind. They're very, very kind of you to be nice to us on your birthday. Uh, Wells two three four gibberish four thirty Chinese lamp the bagel oh seven. Thank you so much for the subs, you guys. I really do. We really do appreciate that. Evelyn no wiki with a thousand bits. Hey Bosco, holy shit, dude! The new Transformers show is amazing. I really hope they take the inspiration from the Lost Light comics. Megatron's character art in those comics is gold. You did amazing. Your take on Ultra Magnus felt more alive than most I've ever heard. I cannot wait till more episodes are released. Everyone who worked on this show did a fantastic job. Yeah. That actually means a lot. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, Sudden, so think for the bits, Sir Thomas Piercy with the 550 bits. No Prince Division this weekend. Just take all my bits and then I guess. <laughs> Thank you so much for 550 bits. Bill is act with a thousand bits. I tried to lurk around while working, but you're done already. Oh, well, we'll watch you later. Bell is act. No, it's so sad. Come back. Thank you, Bell is act for the 1,000 bits. Pseudonym 32. And so begins life. 500 bits. Thank you. Love you, Lorelai, with the bits. All hail Pope Bob. Thank you so much. Ragnadom. Thank you much for the bits as well. Holy crap, Monty with Solly's reaction. Case it got buried. Finally caught it live. Love you guys. Thank you so much. And that is it for all these amazing people. And thank you again to Fay Raven, Improved Furball, Viridian Winter, the Forever Dungeon Master, Thortron 6000. Salute, headshot, salute. Thank you so much. And thank you all for gifting subs as well. Uh, someone, we have some, uh, we have some names. Uh, one, Speak of the Devil, someone says. Zang on the Drifter says that one. There was one that uh, was, um, oh gosh, there was one that I should have written it down. I missed it completely. Um, that one though. Oh, getting getting down to uh, getting down to it. Getting, oh, okay, getting down, down, get down, get, getting down to, to business. It is good. Uh, the tall says getting down to business. Yeah, that was the one I saw, but I think business is. Bit I think big. getting down to it's better because business yeah. is kind of long. Yeah. Mm. Everything else I was seeing was um was a little bit too spoilery. On the nose. Mm. Yeah, yeah, on the nose. Yeah, a little a on the whole, guys. So I think Some I think getting down to it would be pretty good. Yeah, I'm down with that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha, ha. Um, and I got two we, words for you. Do we want to raid Perception Studios? Sure. Oh, sure. Yeah. Okay. Because I we haven't raided them in a while. And we like them. It's true. Mm. Fuck Draco's yeah. also streaming. If you want to break her computer. Who is? Draco. We raided her last time with the Prince Division. That's I true. Her, but All right. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think Perception Studios would be pretty good. How many views nice. do they have right now? Uh, 61. 61. Yeah. 